Ooh, okay, okay. Let's make sure that everything's set up right, which it looks like it is. Do you want to go to the actual stream video here so I can see it? You know, quality of it and everything looks perfectly fine. Just to let you guys know, I am slave to the games. Thanks for stopping by. Basically, as the title says, I'm going to do my first ever showcasing for a map. <laughs> I've never done this before for any game, really. And I'm just going to walk around, you know, take a look at it. If anyone decides to stop by during the live stream, then I'll just check things out, depending on like what you guys suggest. After the fact, if you guys leave comments below, I will also look at that and then check it out myself. I'm very interested to see where this is going, because while I've had Escape from Tarkov for over a year now, it's been uh it's been hit or miss. I've gotten like on a few times, played for like a week or two, and then dropped it. Found something else I wanted to do. But I've always wanted to play this. I just never really felt like it was the right time. I was always coming in like at the wipe time or just before wipe. I never really got there at like the brand new beginning, I think, except for like point eleven seven something like that so point eleven seven three i don't know somewhere around there and at that time i was just distracted by other games so it just really wasn't the perfect chance and i've been waiting since seeing the trailer like a week ago for this to happen just to so i can just dive right in and i figured why not like go into offline mode and showcase what the new map looks like reserve and you know i don't know chill out i kind of want to see how it's looking i don't really uh go on the other maps on offline to check it out and see like where everything is i just kind of go in and learn as i go i don't know i I, know, I find it weird like if i want to learn the map i would just do it as i'm playing it however this time i thought maybe it'd be interesting not just for my channel but also just for myself to see maybe you know explore with you guys and myself without any enemies or ai getting in my way I think we get it like an hour in it. I don't know if uh, it's unlimited while I'm in offline mode with no enemies. <sighs> I also have this on ultra graphics. Everything is at the max right now, so it might be a little bit jittery. Maybe because I just don't know how smoothly it's running. I should probably add that to the title. Uh, I'll be like ultra graphics. There we go. I, I totally didn't even forget to add. I totally forgot to add that. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <sighs> I don't know why I'm a little bit like extra nervous. Like I said, it's like totally out of my zone. Maybe that's why. I'm rambling a little bit. And I'm also like feeling those little like nervous butterflies you feel when you're doing something like completely out of your element. Making me drink a lot of my Hawaiian punch, <laughs> which I wish was water because sometimes it can actually get tired of drinking that much. Oops, I misspelled something. Look at that. Maybe I should like move the showcase into there. Man, I'm really hoping people stop by. Super nervous. I've got an SSD, so if, feel free to skip like right to the portion of where it like actually starts. Um, after it's done, for those of you who are there, you're probably not going to hear this because <laughs> you probably would have already skipped. I will have a timestamp showing when we actually do start. Gotta move the water away from me. Maybe I'll like pull up, you know, talk about like the new features. The escape from. Tarkov. There we go, and I'll go to like the actual site. Maybe you know people pop in and I'll talk about those new features as well. Ultra graphics. Let's go and point twelve discussion, I guess. Discussion is that is that the pro the proper word? You ever like spell something out and you think you're wrong, so you got to double check it, but you were right all along. Yeah. That's what I just did. There we go. Discounts. Oh, patch notes right here. Wait, 11? Where the hell did 12? <laughs> I know they have it. Did they, like, take down the 12 point oh, or point twelve one? I know it was on their website. 
but I guess I'll have to check it out on like Discord or Twitter. No, no, we'll go to Facebook. Facebook has to have it. We're about to deploy, so that's good. Okay, oh, and we're in. Guess I'll wait. I'll pull it up if like anyone stops by. Actually, you know what? No, I'll put up because this is a showcasing of the map and just all around anything about point 12. I do want to walk around and explore. Now I did. Uh, let's hit this and go to settings so we can see the new settings that are in here because there are new ones. And I'll leave it there while I pull up the facts so I can, you know, see exactly what I want to talk about. I did not memorize everything that's coming to it, so. I have to actually have the list. Luckily on Facebook, you could find it pretty easily. You just got to pull up the page. Yeah, I think it's like the first thing. Yeah, it's like right here. I think. Uh, let's see. Posts. Okay. No? <laughs> okay, okay. Never mind. Okay. Let's just grab Discord then. I didn't think I'd have to go through this much trouble just to, get it, just to do that. I didn't actually think I was going to be pulling this up either, so I could have done it beforehand. And then I just had it perfectly ready, but I obviously didn't think that through because I didn't think I'd be you know, having this up to talk about it. Touch notes. There we go. Let's get to the top of it. There. Now if I do want to talk about it, I can. So basically what I have noticed that is new here is the grass shadows at the bottom. I honestly think that's self-explanatory and I'm not going to be able to exp like explain or what is it define? I think it's just give an explanation for all of these because honestly I don't know what most of these do. I just know grass shadows is literally the shadows of grass. I don't know how badly it affects performance. We'll see. I put the resampling on the highest like you can go to down sampling. You can turn it off super sampling, but we have it on four times. We have the anti-aliasing all the way up. Like, like I said, everything is all the way up. You can see it's at custom, but that's because I messed with things. But it's at ultra. I don't know what texture streaming is. I haven't actually looked that up. So if anyone knows what that is and sees this after, or if I stumble across somebody popping in and, you know, explaining it to me, that'd be great. Shadow visibility, it seems like this was moves up. Uh, I had it on 60, but it moved up to 95. I don't know why. If that's default, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe they added more visibility to it because... A lot of settings didn't actually change for me. It kind of just kept. Um, let's see. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, yeah. This colored very high for the HBAO. I, I don't know what that means at all. I honestly don't even know what HBAO means. <laughs> or SSR. I just pushed everything as high as I could. And I didn't put VSync on because everybody says that VSync is terrible. But now that we're here, I need to move into like... I gotta like get close. I don't know why wrap this out there we go okay so you'll also notice that my field of view is at 75 i put it there because people said that it gives you a wider view and then if you're not too bothered by the fishbowl effect that apparently people say you have it shouldn't be a huge deal which to me i actually didn't have any issue with it one thing i have noticed while playing this at least right now is i don't know if there's like an actual stutter or if I'm just not used to it right now I did play like a quick round offline with PvE on and scabs in here and scab war so they fight each other and there was a huge stutter like I got like I was like sprinting like away like this <laughs> and the game kind of just chat on me uh, let's see so I want to really get over here first Ah, uh, right there. There's a little bit of a lag. See, now we can see the grass details here with the shadows. And I'm not, I'm not really too sure how well it was done before. Because I know generally people don't play with grass on. Or they have it technically, because it's always on, they have it at like the lowest setting, which was 40 before. And actually, is that setting gone? Texture quality, shadow quality, object load, raw visibility. I think it's gone. I'm pretty sure there's another setting like wasn't there another one or is it the load right here I'm pretty sure there's like another setting somebody else can tell me that but I'm pretty sure there was another setting that determined like grass load distance and people would just set it to 40 and then it'd make it pointless like if somebody was like way over there I could be like oh yeah this should be harder you know people shouldn't be able to see me here but 
Pe people would aim and then like all that grass up there would be gone. Like I'm sure everybody who plays Escape from Tarkov knows this already. And you'd instantly just see people up there. And I didn't like that because I like to see my game like as beautiful as possible. At the max graphics as possible. Obviously if I have to turn it down I will. Which feel free to tell me if you see any stuttering or something that shouldn't be here. I think it's giving a little bit of stuttering. I don't, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Maybe it's just the way I'm playing it. But anyways, let's do a little bit of an exploration now. I think what I'm going to start it with is actually up here on this hill. I don't really know exactly where I can go. We got an hour to explore, so... Oop, oh, ouch! Okay, let's do a little bit of a soft walk through here. So we can't be damaged by this barbed wire on the fencing here that's being hung out. So you kind of want to get in the middle. That Oops. Oh yeah, what? You know... Is my headset off? Listen to this. Is this a new sound? Because it sounds farther away from me than I actually am. I just press B. It doesn't seem like buttons are being reactive. And I can't just fire like that. I gotta stop. Okay, we'll go for a nice little walk though. It's weird playing like with everything like at max because I'm always suggested not to But I just wanted to like show you how it looked at its best Even if there is a slight like bump every now and then it should be rel running relatively smooth But Who knows maybe the stream will be affected differently. It should be perfectly fine and, and it should be clear there was a little bit of a lag right there. I saw the grass load in. It kind of just popped right in. I'm sure there'll be some major issues to minor issues at the beginning because this is the first day the patch came out and we will need more hot fixes technically. <laughs> now, I don't want to get hit by the mines because I'm pretty sure what I saw in the trail is the mines are out here. Yeah, I think I see one right there. That definitely looks like that's where one would be. So I really don't want to risk going in there yet because if i die we have to go through the entire loading screen again but i did realize that i do need to check for water so i guess we'll be scavenging for water juice milk well not milk milk's bad actually i think we only get condensed milk and that actually is not good for us but i mean the good thing here is this is a pretty good sniping area for when it comes to anybody trying to leave here and I'm not too sure myself. I saw somebody wrote that, like, if you leave through here, that, like, you could risk getting a faster extraction. Like, maybe it's over there, but you also risk dying pretty fast because of the mines. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that, though. That could just be a rumor. So if anybody knows anything about that before I find out, or even if I do find out and you just decide to mention it, that would be great. Run up the hill. I am probably... <laughs> choking on my own spit, but I'm probably going to make some settings uh, lowered... If I can, just to probably increase the FPS, I think that's my biggest problem right now is all of everything being on high can cause jittery and I want it to be pretty smooth. I want the grass here and I like that, but I know I can play it at a better stability and I think the grass shadows and the shadows being at ultra are the biggest issue and as far as the last patch we were in, if you had it at medium, it really didn't make a huge difference between medium and ultra with the shadows. Okay. Well, geez. Okay, we're going to put caps on to walk slow into these buildings. I do not have flashlight. Wow. Oh, actually, did I take off? What did I put on? Okay, yeah, I did take off Zeebler and Noise because those are just random effects that I've been told really don't add anything to the game. So I guess technically those are off. Um, I, I don't know, unless you guys think that is a huge game changer and honestly makes it, and it's like needs to be on for the complete ultra experience, I could put it on, but honestly, I think it's just like film grain shit you see on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna go like room by room. Oh, wow. I don't really normally take the time while I'm playing the game to just admire the world. 
<laughs> I really don't because I'm always like somebody's gonna come up like behind me or something so I never just look at things and honestly this lighting looks really well done the only thing about this that I have a problem with like with the candle is the fact that it doesn't really look like the candle flame is flickering <laughs> is it let's get closer oh I mean it, there's a little effect it has but it doesn't really look like it's blurring that much and I like there we go uh, oh, you know, it's actually moving when you get like close like this. Obviously, though, like the movement of us isn't going to cause it to go out or anything. So that's the only thing that's like probably keeping it from being like the ultra realistic way it could be like in real life is because otherwise it just go out. I wonder if that's something that they'd be able to do later in the future. Now I should actually check to see if I can hear my voice. Yeah, I can hear my voice, <laughs> okay. You'll hear like a little bit of an echo from me, but I just had to make sure. Never ever can be too sure. Ah, uh, crap. Now, I shouldn't have breached that because I found out recently that in order to breach a door, it can't be metal and it has to be able to open in the way you're kicking it. That's a tip for if anybody doesn't know that. I always kicked every single door just because I thought that it was just a random chance that was based on your strength. Look, you can see the light, uh, the god rays, the light rays. <laughs> it's gonna be like the only time I probably look at like everything and be like, oh wow, this looks nice. That's hot. Okay, let's see if we got anything to drink because we're gonna, nope, we are gonna die of dehydration soon. I really, you know, I really have a newfound respect or how it looks in all the lighting when you take your time just to see. Can I shoot out the light actually? I'm, I'm very curious about that. Oh, I... It just, did it just ricochet or go through? Nah, nah, it had to have like gone through but not fully like rendered that. Okay, so basically here is I was gonna see if you could see the light coming in from there. But it, it doesn't really look like you can. Like, it stops at the window right here. So, I guess the god rays even being at max isn't really um, too powerful. Because right here, you can actually see the lighting, see? Like, you can actually see it, like, hovering there. And, like, shooting out. But it doesn't look like it's, like, traveling inward. I guess the light is aiming in that direction. But, like I said, on this window, I guess you can see it right, right here, lightly. See it? Coming in. I was expecting to see that with this light, but it might be overpowering this. See, because you could see maybe right there, it's like a little circle. Nah, nah, it's the same. Right here, it doesn't seem to be working at that window. But this was all the rooms in here, except for the ones that we can't get into right now. So that is it for dorm B. Let's see what we got. You know, I don't think we have a vault mechanic. Like, if there's, like, open windows, it'd be pretty interesting to add a vault mechanic. I think that'd be something I'd like. Yeah, see, I like how the light just crawls right up it. This is this might not even be anything, like, brand new. Like, it really just depends on, like, how long you've been playing. And if you've actually... Oops, hit my mouse. If you've actually noticed all this be stuff before or done something like this. So it's really just for people who are just curious to see the map and, you know, just bask in the glory like me. Uh, I really don't want to drink this. Wait, it says hydro. Oh, it does say hydration for both. Okay, so let's use all because it uses 30. It didn't say dehydrated me either. So there's regular milk now or has that always been there? Because again, you could just consider me new if you wanted to. Is that juice as well? What are you? It is. We're taking that because we'll need it. Okay. So what? We improve our walking speed just a little. So we're not like snails pacing all the way through this. I know we got a lot to do and I don't think one hour is going to be able to cut it. 
if we're going to try to explore as much as we can. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Does it do the candle thing like before? Yes, it does. You can see it go in and out. Hey, look at that. Glad they're consistent. Do all the doors in this game open up like that? Ooh, perfect. Oh, we got more juice. We should let... Wait, what's that? Health. What is this? Immunity plus one? And he gives a timer there. I don't know if that was always there. I only drink water when I absolutely need it in the game, so... Oh, yeah, look at that. So the light was com was definitely coming in at a different angle in that building. It just wasn't coming in the angle that I thought it was. Uh, okay. So it looks like here is going to be most likely just random food items, maybe like a couple mags. And behind the breach door might be a case. We're going to take that because I'm pretty sure that's rice. Might be like a weapons case. Okay, we have already checked B and uh, B. <laughs> okay, we're going to skip that. And we'll check out this little place right here before checking out this giant warehouse. Train station? Yeah, train station. Not exactly sure, like what exactly is that was misleading topics that need to be talked about on the map because i don't want to look at like every feature and then be like oh yeah i focused on the wrong thing okay, so this looks like there's a weapons case here no jackets i mean there's really nothing special about this i'm sure we've seen a checkpoint that's almost similar to this at um customs and i'm not walking out there because same thing mines Although, that is an extraction symbol, I believe. And I did see in the trailer that people were getting on the train, and that's a new form of extraction. I don't know if you have to, like, ride it until it gets to, like, out there before it extracts. Like, if the timer lasts that long. Or if it, you just extract, like, when you get to the train that's parked inside here. Or whether it's stationed here. So, we're gonna do the train station now, and everything around it. So, first of all, let's check this out. Oh, that's annoying. So, I gotta jump over that. There you go. Okay, nothing hidden in here. Obviously, can hop out the other side. I wish there was a smart way to walk. There we go. Like, for instance, right here, if I could just walk over and my character or the AI or whatever it is, I don't really know what it is. That programming, maybe? It just auto. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Wait for train. Okay. Oh, okay. So I could just be right here. I guess that answers my question, but I think you still have to step on it. I think hopefully what we'll do is extract on the train to leave. Like just that that's how we'll end the exploration is we'll use the train. Because that seems like a pretty cool way to end it. This does not seem like a safe place to be like. I think because people are going to want to ride the train to get out, this might be like the biggest hotspot on this map. But only time will tell. It'll, de it'll really be like where you get like the best gear. Like maybe on the train. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there. Maybe on the train, there'll be like a weapons case you can get to as well. Like I said, not too sure. Oh, there's a hidden wall here. We can get to. That's that's nice. Can we just walk under here? We can. So we're going to check that out. So like I said, we're going to cover every... Wait, this first. Can we crawl under this? No. Okay, that's good to know. But I think we'll be able to throw grenades under it. So that may be a good strategy if you come into this wall and you see somebody over here. And you don't want to get in a firefight. You could just throw a grenade in here. And maybe... Maybe those. That looks like it's open right here. Oh, okay. You definitely have to crouch under that. So as far as we've been able to find out so far, we found two entrances in, three. One was in a wall, two were doors open i don't think you'll be able to get in from above to be honest but we'll have to get up to check that out it doesn't seem like being up here is going to be really a smart thing to do unless you're trying to 
get the drop on somebody on the other side like maybe you have one person here and one person over there and then you can watch both sides but as we found out there is other ways in and it doesn't really look like you're gonna get any benefit being up here at all i don't see a weapons case either so i don't really see a point in going up here unless uh something's placed yeah i i don't think there's any point to going up here and i think you should avoid it there's no rooms up on this side or on the other side at all so yeah just avoid that completely like i said unless you're trying to get to maybe no you can't even get up there never mind so yeah just avoid it completely i don't think we can climb up here but this is probably a good chance to chill nope so if you get down here the only way out is to sprint to the sides unless maybe oh yep look at this you can climb under and by climb i mean crawl i almost said crouch but yeah and it, and it does sound like the crawling is definitely a lot quieter than before i saw that in the patch notes that they were going to fix that and make it quieter and it's definitely a lot quieter when i used to crawl before like it sounded loud as hell i wanted to completely avoid crawling because I, I i can't even explain like if you've been playing it before you'd know like this is a lot quieter like i actually feel like i'm crawling i'm not like grabbing a duffel bag and kicking that shit across the room <laughs> which is essentially how it sounded so now we know like i said don't fall in the middle of the train station if you're in the middle of a firefight unless you remember to crawl under this side because if you crawl on the other side it looks like it's blocked off and you're gonna be screwed um we might be able to get over that no we're definitely not gonna be able to climb that so what i'm looking for right now is a way to get to the other side pretty quickly without running up here because if you have to run up here because say like we were down where we were before like right here and we got into a firefight and you couldn't run that way because obviously they just target you and you're right out in the open same thing with going out this exit you'd have to crawl under this place and then you could get out and say they didn't throw a grenade or take you out you'd have to somehow get out of there and unless you decided to go through the one brick wall that is right there can we can we oh crap no the game there we go lean can i crouch down and see it from here we'll just move over up here just so you can see because this is new for all of us obviously that one right there unless you can crawl under and then get out that door right there or wall but it is a door or sprint over to the very end here without getting hit you have no way of getting out and you have to come up to this balcony scaffolding metal walkway <laughs> you have to go up here and pretty much die and uh truth be told i didn't know there was a door here and we can go into it so look at that Ooh. okay okay so we got a case here this looks like a really good area. I mean, most people aren't going to be out there. Whoops. I say most, though, because the mines. And I'm assuming the mines are all around this area. Like, they're not just in that one area over there that I went to before. I think they're all around this map on the outside. So, it looks like we can just get up here. We're definitely going to have to jump on that last part, which we're going to have to be careful not to jump over the... Oh, oh, oh geez, yep, that. We're going to have to jump, like, softly... And that's the thing, I don't know how to jump softly in this, so... That's... <laughs> oh my god, terrifying. I don't think I want to do that a lot. Oh! I think there's a dead scab here that we can go for a key or something. Look at this! Okay, so we definitely found a location of another scab. This is most likely going to be a key or something. What do I got? No, it wasn't a key. I figured that maybe it was like the unknown key you get in customs, but I guess this is just a dead scav. Maybe you need a quest to actually spawn something on him. I don't think he'd be placed there just for the hell of it. I know in factory there's one, customs there's one, but I kind of figured each body that was placed in the game I was just left there actually had something on it or in the future would have something on it because of a quest. So this would be a good area to be only if you're very confident in your skills and you're very confident the fact that you're not going to get killed out in the open 
because obviously if you're out here just walking around there's so many places you can be hit from and it and as i've seen the grass distance like i said like you see it way out there like you can't control that anymore which like i said is great because people can hide in the grass now they can lay down there and you're not going to easily see it so that's another thing you have to be concerned about now if you're on top of buildings like this you won't just be able to look like way over there and then see somebody just laying down there because you have the grass all the way down and it only extends to like say there so that's another thing people are gonna have to start worrying about let's see can i walk up there or do i have to actually jump oh okay okay so i can go up here yeah it looks like i can actually cross oh boy i uh i'm gonna try it for the purpose of this video but oh god oh oh Broke my, broke my legs. Oh, almost. I am bleeding though. And I have nothing to heal because I'm playing my character and didn't put any of the health things on me. But I should, should be fine. I'll just let them, I'll let the legs die out. Because I have no choice. <laughs> let's use some, let's see, we need 24 to keep going. I wanted to try it out for exploration purposes, you know? However, that did not fail. Wait, is it going out? Oh my god. I think I'm just gonna bleed out completely because standing still without a bandage actually won't do anything. Which means we'll have to start a new one, which is fine because I didn't really get out or anywhere near enough of this map that I wanted to. And somehow I actually hurt my head? Okay, okay. Maybe uh, this will have me something. I might as well try scavenging while I explore this. We'll just know that next time we come back here, we won't need to explore the station. Because we already did. Uh, I think blood loss actually stays until I'm completely dead. Yeah, okay. I got a tremor, that's what it is. Yeah, okay, so it's just gonna drain. We're gonna explore what's left of this station. We got an entrance on this side, another one there. So we got two on this side, unless you count dropping down to get there and there, which would be four. So th this is definitely the most advantage, uh, advantage, adva advantageous. I think that's the way to say it when it comes to escaping, but it's not the best when it comes to defense because there's so much more over there that you can hide behind than on this side. And there's actually nothing to run up on this side except for on both sides <laughs> okay okay so you can still run up but again like i said it's the same thing as on the other side it's even worse on this side than on the other one you literally have to run in a complete open area to the two sides of the stairs <laughs> before you can even could be considered slightly more safe okay let's walk outside god damn i'm dying fast didn't even save me with pomegranate juice just drink it all we're gonna get as much out of this life as we can because having no ssd sucks let's see oh wait there's actually a door here can we open this can we find this question out before we die that is the true question we can so there's actually one, two three or five ways out, though I don't know why you take the time to open the door when you could just sprint out there. <coughs> I really don't, because then if you, even if you just wanted to like avoid going out there, I don't know why you wouldn't just run through this exit. <laughs> um, luckily we actually timed that drop to be uh, perfectly timed with completing that area. So we've gone through the two B areas over there. We did the walk of the trail, saw the tank. And we've thoroughly gone through the warehouse station slash train station. There's another door here, but I don't know if we can open that. I don't know if we'll actually make it to it. We might make it to it. We got a little bit of left in us. <laughs> so it's only showing wait for the train here because I think anywhere in here just notifies you that you can wait for the train in here. But I think you have to actually get on the train. Okay, and we got a little hiding spot here. 
Which, I mean, let's be honest, probably isn't the best place to be. Oop, is that what I think it is? Nope, you can't open that door. Okay, yeah. There we go, okay. Take me now, Tarkov gods. We will end this life and then, you know, equip some health and some bandages for the next character so that in case this happens again, we don't have to be interrupted while we explore the rest of the map. But I mean, let's see, what is it? Oh, it did take us a half hour to explore what we've already done. So this is going to be a little bit. This is definitely going to take some time to get through the map because I do want to get through the majority of the map. If not all of it, I'd like to get through all of it if I can. But it took a half hour just to get from walking over here, walking the trail, checking out the little mine area and a tower, to getting to the two buildings there, the little outpost, and then this warehouse. So we made some good distance, traction, you know, progress, all of that. I appreciate those of you who are sticking by, who are here live, and those of you guys who are here after the fact. Remember, I do, uh, for those of you who are live, have the patch notes right up next to me, so I can check them at any time and be like, oh yeah, okay, this is something that's going on, or you could be like, hey, is this? And I'll be like, oh, maybe it is. Ah. <sighs> I did see that somebody mentioned earlier on a Reddit page that when they ran through a bush, it actually slowed them down. And I ran through a bush and it actually seemed to slow me down. So I don't know if that was in the patch notes because I didn't read everything that was fixed or changed. I read the most important things to me, which was like what was added to the game. So maybe running through bushes now slows you down as well as makes noise. That's something to actually consider and think of. Maybe when I see a bush the next time I go in, I'll check it out. I have noticed that the loading screen kind of takes seems to be taking a little bit longer like this part right here the transitioning But I do like the new uh, Background you could switch between factory or woods. I believe it is But I like this one Just because it seems new Factory looks too close to the other one or reminds me too much of it. Okay, let's go to our character and You know after this I think I can do the hideout as well you know but for now let's just put this in here because we'll need the grizzly we're gonna grab like two things of morphine we're gonna grab like two bandages we're gonna grab a splint we're gonna grab more splints we're just gonna stack ourselves with this because we're not gonna lose any of it so it doesn't really matter we actually don't need a weapon either so i'm just gonna put everything in here we don't need any of this right now because we're just exploring. We're doing nothing else but that. Um, and we'll grab like a ton of water because like I said, just exploring, we won't use any of this. Boom. Okay. There we go, let's go in now. We'll go PMC, reserve. And we wanna go at daytime because we're not insane and we actually wanna see what we're doing. There we go. Ready. And now we wait like two, three minutes. <laughs> Those of you who are watching this after the fact, uh, I will try to keep on every time I go back into the map, like add times to show like this is when it starts or just skip to here when you get to there so you don't have to wait for the loading. Uh. Whew. I know I'm... I'm enjoying it. Let's see, I am going to take some time right now to maybe look at what has been changed. Oh, yeah. The body armor can't be worn with play carries anymore. God, that makes me sad. Uh, I knew that. I'm going to look for, like, specifically the grass. That's what I want to see. Uh, overall quality changes to the spawn system. New loot points, loot tables of containers. I don't see anything to do with running through, excuse me, had a burp, bushes. Uh, no, not right now. Fix delay in applying negative effects. 
broken lamps would light up again if you step away and approach them again. Well, what's this? It's, look at that. It says that lights, lamps can be broken. I shot a lamp. I literally pointed, uh, sh uh, pointed at it point blank. I literally shot at it point blank. And it, you can apparently break lamps? Why didn't the lamp not go out? Why did the bulb not get destroyed? That makes me feel terrible. <laughs> now I just feel like I missed. <laughs> I don't want to feel that way. Uh, fix disappearing messages after relogin. I don't really care about that. Bad backend matching error while on raid. Bug shown killer in the session end screen if the death was from a barbed wire or fire. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't really see it. It, they must have added some like changes or fixes that like they didn't list by accident because it, it seems like they did like it seems like there's some things that like might have been added that they were just forgot to add to the list of like what was changed no we don't need to go into the ai combat behavior or the bots improvements and fixes it might be in the optimizations maybe maybe uh it says optimization of rendering and display of grass i don't think that has anything to do with running through it um volumetric light i mean the lighting looks great it looks really solid to me when i look at it i mean normally any other time like i said i won't really pay attention to it because i'm too worried that i'm gonna get shot in my ass this fixed a large number of causes of freezing and stuttering related to rendering physics animations inventory combat logic and more though to be fair i don't actually know what combat logic means in terms of a video game so again, another term that if you know what that means, feel free to explain it below in the comments or to comment right now during the stream. And that's just graphic options, new bosses, new trader, new location, functionality. Uh, yeah, it has to be in the change. The sun was fixed in shoreline and customs. You gotta like cycle back and forth to make sure there's no like comments going on. So I can read, so I don't like forget about it. Now I don't get what it means by receive item by mail. Like, is it by mail from like the game or like by the NPC traders when they're like giving you stuff that you like hit get for like, you completed a mission now receive your gifts is that what it means or can you actually send people it or send people mail yeah i don't see at all the grass one I, I tried to look it up while i had the time and i really don't see it so it's it had to have been added after or maybe it's always been there and i've just no i've definitely run through a shit ton of bushes <laughs> never mind it, it's it's had to have not been there before the only sad part about this is I have now officially run out of punch. I should have poured like three glasses. Let's see, I grab this and I'm like, skip from Tarkov reserve map showcasing for the new point twelve patch. I talk about <laughs> the changes and more. Well. Walking around the new reserve map in ultra settings. There we go. Sounds great. Cliff descent, scavs land, sewer manhole, and armored train. Okay, we are gonna drop this. Okay, we're actually gonna hit drop because we don't need a weapon in our hand. We're just gonna look. We've already explored these two places. So look at that. We actually get to start pretty close to where we were before. We went out the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run around past here because I want to check out the train over here and I kind of want to work from the outside in. I have a feeling doing that will be more efficient. I do feel like eventually climbing ladders should be a thing unless it's always been a thing. and I just don't know. I don't think it's always been a thing. Yeah, definitely not a thing. Definitely not. Wait, okay, there we go. So we've already checked out these 
little uh, sniper's nests or the towers. So there's really no need to go to every single one of them. I'm going to ignore going to every one of them. We can assume that maybe some of them do have crates. But I'm really looking at things that are different. Because, you know, once you've seen one of those towers, you've seen the other ones. Looks like... Oh, there's a bunker over there. We'll go check that out. Soon. Soon. We will get there. I plan on doing a long, long exploration of this. I hope some people appreciate this, and I know I may be boring. But I'm sure there'll be people out there who really like being able to see everything like this. And that's really what this video is aimed for. Unfortunately, I can't climb up that or vault. So honestly, I don't think there's no way of getting in there. Or, I don't think there's any way of getting in there. Not no way. Yeah, definitely not a way to get in there. So we're going to walk up to this area. But this would be a good place to shoot from. Yeah. It'd be a nice area, I guess. Like, you could probably pop a few surprise shots off of somebody. I don't know if it'd be the best area to be. Again, I mean, what place is an escape from Tarkov? Uh, can we get in that? No, we cannot. And it doesn't look like we can open this at all. So we'll just keep walking down. Yeah, oh, actually, there's one open right there. We'll hit, we'll hit these bunkers first, or whatever these things are, before going up here. Ooh. I wonder if we'll actually find something in here. Like, if there's something, like, laying right here, like a key, maybe. I doubt it, because it's a destroyed vehicle, and I really don't picture there being something in there. Oh. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's do this. We just gotta remember we came in this side. No, uh, that looked lootable for a second. Here we are. We're in the bunker. Well, one of them. You know, I really should have... I really wish there was actually a flashlight. It looks like you guys are actually seeing it brighter than I am. <laughs> it's hella dark for me. But for you guys, it looks a little bit... It does look a little bit, like, artifacty because of, like, all the darkness. Can we go through that? No, we cannot. Door not openable there, but we can close one of them. Does that mean we can open it from this side? No. What about this? No, that's just for looks. Ooh, right here would be a great place. I think you could easily like shoot people as they come in and they might be blinded by that light. Maybe let's take let's take a gander. Okay, like we're gonna be like la di da di da. Nah, nah, we'll easily see that shit. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore that plan. I, th I thought maybe, it'd, like, the brightness would flash in your eyes and maybe you wouldn't be able to see as clearly. But no, you'd definitely be able to screw people over there. Here would be a great place. Like, if you heard people coming, you could pop around the corner and just wait as they passed. And I'm sure you could hear them better. And determine, like, when you want to pop out. I can't really tell you the best time because it just depends on the situation, how good of a headphones you're using in-game and out-of-game we leave out here? I don't think we can, but it's worth checking. No. Right behind the cardboard here. It looks like this is a dead end. So honestly, this would probably be the best place to get a drop on somebody if they were coming down this way. But as we checked out... Okay, okay, there is one thing to loot back here, but I think most people will skip that too. Yep, two. I think most people will skip those things. Can we get under here? No, we cannot. So I was going to say that might be a place where you could surprise people. But as you saw, we can't get under it. Can we get above that? Oop. Oh, crap. I definitely think we can do it, though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Walk slow. Walk slow. This will take some time. I definitely, unless you're like a master, I definitely think, ah, it would take some time to get there. So don't do it if you're in a quick fight. I wish I had somebody here with me because then I could see if they could see me. I don't think they can. 
I definitely think if you had gun, it might glitch out, but I think this would be a great place to, like, hide and then pop somebody off if they come down here to check it out. Just be very stealthy, because you can surprisingly hear people move if they're really close to you. Let's say within, like, five feet, you can easily hear somebody get up, reload, shift their weight, open their backpack. Hey, what's up, Taylor? I would hop on in there. <laughs> I got that uh, with you if I could. Uh, it would, like I said, it would be nice to have some other people. But then, unfortunately, I lose <laughs> you who's watching me. I, I definitely think going there, you do risk having a pop-in feature. I, I don't know why I, like, put my mouse down and, like, start looking at the screen like I'm actually showcasing myself, but I'm not. Um, I definitely think if you're having a gun out, it could stick through and people could see you that way. Maybe your leg would pop through the other side. The only way would be to actually see somebody in there let's see see there's a lot of tight corners here that you could theoretically get the jump on somebody but it doesn't seem like it's dark enough in any of these areas aside from a very few to where you could actually make a difference like right here if you hid here like you may think you're hidden but you're definitely not like somebody walks in like this unless they're not paying attention Oh, actually, I take that back because if you were looking like One second do I have anything? No, I don't if you're looking right under there where we just were and you were specifically like Eyeing that place down you could see somebody but if you're not you're most likely not gonna see that person They could totally get to you there. That's probably best place But it's not really dark enough for you really to get too much of an advantage if you're deciding to hide here How does that spot look? probe oh okay let's uh, let's go check that out i'm gonna prone um let's see well somebody can obviously come up behind us here but we're gonna go prone and then see if maybe we can get a jump on people uh not here maybe if we shift over a little bit maybe like right here it looks like you could like you could shoot through here theoretically like if you had a rifle or if you're just using marksman rifle or anything with single shot maybe burst I would not trust auto unless they were literally coming like out of that door like if they were right at that door line where you could see the top of it I could probably go with auto but I would definitely like just aim down and hopefully let them single file is there only one way I think there's only one way in through here let's check this door oh uh, yeah so if you're here oh yeah there's no way you're noticing that like if you're walking in here and you look there like I obviously since we know we were just laying between those barrels on the ground we know to look there but if you decided to lay there there's no way i would walk in here and i would not expect that i would not expect to see someone there but the thing is is like depending on what armor a person has and depending on where you hit them it could very well be pointless because you could just like run in get hit and then somebody's gonna be like oh shit and they're either gonna panic and run behind or keep running this way and at that point you could probably take advantage of the confusion which would be great, but there's probably going to be skilled players who instantly, like, know where the sounds come from. They know what's in front of them. They might throw a grenade or something. I definitely think you'll have, like, an 80% chance on taking that person out, though. I don't think they stand a high chance of surviving. Especially if they start walking in the tunnel and you light them up as soon as they get in there. Okay, can't go out that way. Just another dead end. This is not a good place to hide. I would not hide down this way. At all. I don't think we can get under any vehicles, to be honest. No, we can't. And it's most likely because of the gear, because even though it makes it look like we can laying down, we obviously can't because of the gear we're carrying, the backpack, etc. Uh, oh, this one's actually open right here. That is new. So, can we actually get a little sneaky with this? Ah, oh, damn, I thought we could maybe like get behind this pipe and then surprise people. But I guess the best option here is to just hide in here when people come around the corner. But most people look left and right. I'm sure you guys do. I don't really see an advantage. Like, that's where I wanted to get. But uh, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you, Taylor. I don't know if you own the game. And if you have, if you could answer me, how well shooting through a fence actually works. Like, that's something I myself am curious about. Now, we're not going to leave yet because we didn't go downstairs before. So we're going to go all the way down here and explore here, too. 
actually don't recall being able to prone under any vehicle. Could be wrong, never tried. I know you can prone under, like, train things. Like, you weren't here at that part, I think. You might have been there when I went prone under a train track. And then there was a little, uh, what is it? The train, what is it? You're standing on the waiting station. You're waiting for the train to pull up. You're standing on it. That's where people walk back and forth on both sides of the train, generally. Like, a subway on one side, subway on the other. People are waiting, don't step over the yellow line. <laughs> like, whatever that is called. I think it's just called the waiting area. Depends on the fence, I suppose. I've been able to kill some PMCs through fences a couple times. Oh. That's nice. I just, I don't know. I have it in my head that, like, once you shoot at a fence, if it hits the fence, the bullet just doesn't do any damage and it doesn't travel through it or anything. Okay. See, this, he's smart enough to walk over this, so that's what irritates me about certain things I get stuck on when I'm walking. Ooh, do. Okay, look at that heal. I like that. Okay, so that's actually the same side, so it seemed a lot bigger exploring the top. Oh my god, this is huge. <laughs> okay, how much time do we have in this session? So 47 minutes? Okay, we should be able to at least get through this whole entire underground bunker area before we have to start another one up and explore the more of the upper buildings. Okay, this... We actually can't walk in, so we can't just hide in there. Oh, there's a door over here we want to check out. We can't open it. Oh, I, I, you know, I totally forgot. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, for all of you guys who are watching and made it this far, thanks. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you already have not, those of you are watching after this and here, that'd be greatly appreciated. And then also let me know if this is something you guys would want to see for, like, the rest of the maps. I mean, I'm not a killer for, like, boring times or anything, but I mean, if it's something you guys enjoy, I don't mind exploring the maps myself like this and learning more about them. I mean, it benefits me. It might benefit you guys. I mean, it'd also benefit us both if we had uh, a flashlight. <laughs> I could have bought something real quick, but I just kind of hopped in. I was really excited to do this, okay? <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, we can't get in there because it opens out, fortunately. Oh, God, there was a little bit of lag spike there. Can we go under this? Oh, look at this. We can't actually go under these. Ah, it was a lie. We can't. It started letting me go, and then it stopped. I'm just going to assume we can't get under any vehicle. Uh, okay, it looked like a casing. I think we could actually be nabbed. Like, if, if you're walking down here, you might be able to get nabbed by somebody just chilling. This would be a good place right here. Like, if you knew somebody was coming over there. Yeah, you could definitely get nabbed here. But then you'd have to sprint. And if somebody decided to chase you or just aim, I guess, yeah, you could just stick to the center. But that's probably the best option. You don't want to run across because then you're letting yourself get open to attack. Yeah. There's definitely places you can, like, weave your way through on the side if you just wanted to stick here. Like I said, it's really hard to see certain things, but I don't think there's any other holes here. It definitely is. Like, if you wanted to pop in here, like, assuming somebody isn't using thermal or night vision, uh, there's definitely places you could just stick here and get the drop on somebody. I, I say that all the time, but like in my head, I'm like secret, like, but what if it's a team? <laughs> I just feel like, you, depending on how it is and how geared they are and, and how geared you are and the skill, I just picture myself getting wrecked personally. Like, I am by far not a god at this. And I, I figure again, if I got the drop on four people, I'd just be just as surprised as them <laughs> that I fired at them and I'd probably freak out. Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's only two entrances into whatever the hell's in here. <laughs> I'm sure we can find some wiki maps. I'm sure somebody's actually gotten here and just en entered it and found out what was in here and they've already started making a map for it on the Gamepedia. Can we actually open this one? Okay, yeah, definitely only two entrances. Looks like... From what I can see now, it's not really that... Yeah, it's not really that amazing. Doesn't really look like there's anything super duper rare in there. Here we go. Okay, we'll go into this room first, then we'll come back out. 
Wow, this is a lot bigger than I expected. I expected it to be like just a little bit of a parking space and be done, but we got some side swerves in here. Ooh, okay, this just keeps going. I feel like I need to turn back. Oh yeah, we definitely need to turn back so we can make sure we're looking at everything. I wanna make sure we're thoroughly going through each room and not missing anything. Uh, okay, well, it turns out we were. This would actually be... I mean, this would only be good if people didn't throw a grenade. Because if you're hiding here to get a drop on somebody, it definitely work. You just want to take them out before they can throw a grenade. Because they throw a grenade, you only got one way to run, and that's towards them. That'd be very unfortunate. Maybe a flash first, and then you just fire at them. I guess they could still throw one while they're being flashed. Ooh! Speaking of hiding spots, this place could theoretically let you look at both. Let's see. Let's get, let's press C. And then, yeah, look at that. Wait, I actually don't think we can. Here, can I, wait. Can I not step to my left? Let's see. Oh yeah, you definitely can. I just don't think there was enough room there. But this is a good place to drop people. Have one person here. Ooh, another like, oh, you could totally get another like right here, either aiming like directly across as somebody enters this door right here. Or if they wanted to do it, they could try to aim from here for maximum protection. But it'd probably be better to like be here. Let's see. Yeah, right there. This would be a great kill spot. Somebody right there firing in at the door. Somebody right here. You could probably lob a grenade in from here. This would be great. And then like if you really wanted, you could have somebody right here. But that's only if they decided to rush. This is probably best with two people. Maybe three. One person right there. One person like aiming down this way. The other person aiming down this way. Though the person in the corner here. Keep in mind if you are going to do this. You could be blocked. And you'd have to like. Uh, yeah you'd have to be forced to jump twice to get out that way. That's not the best way. To get out if you're going to go in with a team. You could probably fit four people. But that just cause chaos for the people who are on the insides. I know I would probably be on. Okay. Don't know where this is actually bringing me. Oh, look at another way out. File cabinets? We cannot loot them. We do got a jacket here we can loot, though. I wonder how well they can see. Okay, so it definitely brings you outside. I'm assuming the other one's going to bring us out on another area. See how well you can see in. You know, honestly, you're going to probably have some time, uh, have some time, have some trouble seeing somebody standing there. Maybe. This is just because I can't see anybody standing there, so from here, maybe you'd see, but I don't think it'd be that easy unless you're, like, pretty damn close. I didn't even play with anyone, so I'd probably only use that spot if I'm recovering. That's true, but even if you were solo, you'd still get a good drop there, depending on where you were in it. I think, the, I think those two spots would be great. I think it'd be better for two people. I think that'd be ideal three would be pushing it i think that'd be like the max i'd suggest like cornering people in there with whereas two would be ideal one would be like if you're really wanting to get a drop and you think you can do it that'd be perfect because you know where you can hide and even if you didn't want to get a drop you just want to hide i think that'd be great because most people i'd assume would come in and they'd be like this they'd be like obviously a lot slower they'd obviously caps it and then be like oh and as long as you don't make any noise or move, I think you could get away with it. The slower they move, the more likely you're going to get caught. Whoops, wrong turn. This room is just chaos unless you decide to hide right here in this corner. But I still think if you have a weapon out, it'll, it'll show out here. Like, people will come around the corner and they'll just see the gun or your leg sticking out, like, right there. I'm sure you can see the outline. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Gray? How you doing? really hoping that's just how you introduce yourself it hit it but i decided to let it go through just in case you were adding a little bit of personality to the chat not saying we don't have enough of that or too much of that or enough of it oh there, here we go we got another one this one's more lit up so we could probably see better in it this is probably gonna have two entrances as well but we'll double check it let's see 
it's gonna be on the other end it seems like it's a little it's in the same style as the other one nope that one actually just has one entrance i will add all of it <laughs> okay okay we have 99.99 percent of the personality coming from you gray glad to have you here okay yeah so that one's definitely only one entrance from what i can tell it de yeah i'm just gonna confirm it as one oh there's a little bit of that lag okay this one's probably gonna have one two i'm only assuming because this is without checking it out immediately oh yeah why has it been horrible for your wallet was it the escape from tarkov or just other things yep this one definitely only has one again now just i'm going here because we know this has two but i just want to see if there's places to hide here Ooh, actually let's see yeah i mean you could like run and gun between these shoot and then get behind them not real ideal not really ideal at all okay so we're gonna go this way first this is probably gonna be a repeat of the other hallway we went through maybe with a little bit of a different setup yeah, we got a little door over there. It's hella dark in here. No places you can really hide here. You could probably... You could push right here if you really wanted to. But being right here, you would have a great chance of being seen. Like, I can't promise shit. You probably... Like, 20% chance somebody doesn't... Or, somebody doesn't see you. Uh, this upcoming week is about to be horrible for my wallet. New PC inbound and Modern Warfare Outer Worlds. And I bought Edge of Darkness. Okay, first I gotta sneeze, and Jesus Christ. Uh, it's struggling. It's struggling. Uh, it seems like it's gonna go there. Oh, this would be a good place. You know, if somebody didn't decide to look here, even if they did decide to look, if they walked through, you could get the jump on them. If you were looking down here, you'd easily be able to get the jump on them. The only thing you'd have to worry about is if people got smart through a grenade in first. Somebody throws a grenade in from where we just came in, and, and we're done. Like... It, you'll die you're not gonna have the reaction time to get out of there even if you had the reaction time to react to the grenade you wouldn't be able to have the time to get out before it exploded and killed you so unfortunately this one brings us back to the two areas we're gonna check out after and where is it that's the actually yep we can actually see from here where we came out of the other end and modern warfare is something i plan on getting eventually i do like it i really enjoyed it outer worlds i've played about 14 hours of it it's actually on this channel all 14 hours with my friend we both played together at the same time while i streamed it uh, i've had a lot of fun with it i definitely don't think it's a fallout killer like a lot of people said beforehand i think it's good i think it's fun i just don't think it's a fallout killer i think it's a definite game that you're gonna enjoy yourself with if you like fallout or if you like games rpgs in general or just that style of gaming or if you liked new vegas or fallout 3 or any you know any of them i think you'll like it and escape from tarkov yeah i think you'll like it too just <laughs> make sure you're patient and understand you lose stuff unless you already had the regular edge of darkness or uh standard edition then you decided to upgrade then you already know what it's about or if you just watch a shit ton of videos Okay, I don't think we can actually leave here, but there's lights. And they're just... They're, that's exactly what they are. They're just lights. So we've, uh... We've explored it all. Right here would be... A terrible place to be. People could just huck grenades down there and you're fucking done. Don't ever hide down there. Unless you actually have to. You had standard? Oh, okay. What made you go to... The Edge of Darkness? And I, and I say that only because... With the point twelve update... That just dropped people can upgrade their stash via in-game whether it's i don't know exactly what it is it could be materials it could be cash whatever it is but they can upgrade the stash to where it goes up to that oh uh, yeah and, and i mean it could be like me where i started feeling a little bit sad about the edge of darkness thing because it seemed like it was starting to become less relevant and kind of more pointless i do agree with some people like it did feel that way at first but then i remembered that once the game releases there will be dlc and stuff that releases that you get by either purchasing solo or through the season pass and i'm pretty confident that's still there so that made me feel more appreciative and better about the edge of darkness edition even though technically i got the edge of darkness edition for free so yeah 
I just had a lot of fun with point 11 and wanted to support the devs. That's a great reason as well. Even if you didn't get it for any other reason, that's still a great reason. Okay, now we have done the walking on the trail. We've done the sniper's nest, the Claymore area. We've done the two B buildings over there, the train station. And we've obviously done that building, except for the top. Let's let's go to the top because we didn't explore the top of that. If we can get up there. It looks like there's a staircase on the back we could probably get to. Like I said, we're covering everything. Hey, what is up, Andy? Thank you for stopping by. How's your day going? Yep, there is definitely, okay. I definitely want to check this out. Let's hit caps so we can slow down a little bit. I've only played maybe one raid on 12. I'm trying to figure out the hideout. We will eventually get to the hideout. If you guys stick around, we will get to the hideout. We're going to explore this entire map, <laughs> and then we will go to the hideout. Just because not only do I want to see it, but I figured why not do the new map and the hideout? Okay, so it looks like we got a case here. That's good. I am glad you are relaxing. Relaxing is always fun. Unless you can't. Okay, that's basically all it is. But let's take a look out the windows to see like how it's gonna look if we're trying to like snipe at people. I'm gonna play yeah, it's gonna start tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna start probably tonight. I'm probably gonna stay up a little bit. Honestly, depending on how long this takes. Um, it seems like it's gonna be a while to explore everything of this map and the hideout. So again, don't know how big the hideout is. Honestly, this would probably be a terrible spot. I don't actually know. Oh, okay, here we go. We can crash down. I don't actually know how high my head is. Um. Oh, okay, my PC specs. Yeesh. Um. God. Um. Don't know. <laughs> I'd have to. I'd have to grab it. I, I have it like on one of my videos. Like it's way back when I could like grab it and see what I wrote down for somebody. This is actually running on a laptop though. This isn't a desktop. Uh, I'm using the desktop to stream. It's actually better than my laptop aside from the graphics card. <laughs> the laptop has two gigabytes uh, more for VRAM. All I know is this is a, I think it's like an $1,800 laptop. It's an Asus, uh, I think it's got like a 1070 maybe. Not too sure. LPT gaming is 100% worth it. Um, does LPT, oh, okay, you corrected it, okay. I definitely think PC gaming is worth it. Okay, so we checked that out. So now what we're going to do is we're not going to go over here yet. I want to explore these two, three areas. This is where I came when I tried one practice run and got killed by scavs because the game decided to crash out on me. Like, I started sprinting from over here. Like, I was like, I was literally like right here. And they like they rushed me from over there and I just fired the fuck at them and then like started to sprint and like the game just ate shit. Like, I'm pretty sure it's because there's other people or scavs in that it caused it like all the people moving and everything there was like some problems with it but it is day one so i'm giving it some time um cool <laughs> hey it's it's fine taylor it's fine i'm not uh i'm not killing anybody over a few misspelled words i mean if it was like every word on everything and like i just couldn't understand it then I'm like Ugh, i really can't understand you i'm sorry and then hope you don't get angry at me because I couldn't, but no, everything's fine. Don't worry. Um, I really am happy that, at least right now, as you can see, hopefully to you guys, it's running smooth as hell. Because to me, other than like the quick turns, like, <laughs> like this, um, it, it looks like it's running smooth to me. Oh yeah, let me check my water. Ooh, goody. Let's use all of it so that we don't die. 60%. Now we'll be at 93 it looks like it's running smooth to me. It is running smooth on the laptop I'm playing it on. Yeah, okay. Ooh, look at the heat effects here. This is going to be some close quarters fighting right here. Not more so on the outskirts, like right here. Because this is like medium length, maybe in that second part over there. The edges, obviously, you have a lot of places to watch out for. Okay, that's good that it's running smooth. God, see, because I, I can imagine once we get over there, I think we can actually get to the roof. And I know the trees are blocking it, but being right here, 
I mean, can you just imagine, like, all, look at it. People could just snipe from there, 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 there. Just, like, just look around. You can get hit. God. I love this game, but there's just so many places you can get your butthole, you know, wrecked. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be close quarters right there. We'll, we'll check that out, though. What I'm more worried about is traveling in the center. Ooh, it's a little fort. This is my home now. <laughs> I will never leave. <laughs> Great place to just chill if you're just gonna literally chill and play around. Doesn't look like there's anything to loot there, though. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice this. Glad I did. Definitely move through if we hop through it. Definitely a quick way. You just can't push through, I think. Yep, this way you can. Okay, so this way we have to hop, actually jump over. The other way we can just walk straight over it. Gonna have to jump over that. Can we get up here? Ooh. Well, I could see this being a nasty place and grabbing people. The only question is, like, how loud is it? Like, I think you are fine. Like, if you're walking super slow like this, I think you'll be fine on people in there. You could totally grab the jump on somebody. Definitely see task items spawning there. I, you know, I could too. It seems like an area where like, you know, have you ever seen that meme where it shows a cat and it shows the light beaming them on and people are like, oh yeah, gamers know that this is a quest from a cat or something like that. Years of gaming has taught me that this quest, uh, this cat has something to say or has a quest for me. Something along the lines. Oh, 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 stop everything. We found a mounted gun. Oh boy. Okay, now this will answer. Do we need to bring ammo? Oh. Okay, we can aim. Oh god. Okay, okay, so it has a little bit of a delay between the iron sights on the front and back matching up. And it's super slow at turning. This is not a fast turn. I imagine that being very loud. Listen to that. You can hear it echo three times. One, two, three. Yeah, you can just hear it travel. I wonder just exactly how far you can hear this. Oh, shit. That caused me to actually skip all the way to the other side. Oh, God. I'm sure if you'd, like, turned your sensitivity up to insane, it would be faster. But you got to remember... If you turn it up to insane, like, shit, it's going to affect you out of it. So that probably isn't good. I, it's supposed to be like that. Definitely. What's the thermal output on modern PCs versus the mid-2000 PCs? Oh, I have no idea. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, I know it's like heat. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> I am not very tech swabby. The best I can do is uh, eventually find a way to find out what my specs are. I did actually write down my laptop specs before, so it'd be a quick grab. Man, are they cooler and temperature-wise? Oh, oh, you mean like desktop versus laptops? Is that what you mean? Or I would just recommend you build your own. Uh, I definitely am already building my own desktop. But did you mean... Oh, the train's here! Okay, guys. Uh, vote in for everybody here. Do you want me to take the train now? Because it seems like the train's here and we can see the extraction Or I can keep exploring. I mean, I'm gonna come back either way until we explore everything But I just want to see does everybody want to see this extraction? Like right now. I don't know if it's actually a timed event 25 minutes, okay, it looks like looks like everybody's saying the train So let's go Ooh, I can't read Russian, so. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we definitely wait for the train departure. Okay, so now it actually has to leave. Yay, that's exactly what I hoped for. I was hoping it wasn't just hopping in it. Oh, nice. Okay, look at this. Oh, you could definitely shoot out of that. Shooting out the windows. You got to adjust your sights. Probably don't want to get that close because it'll actually just bump into the wall and you won't be able to fire correctly. Uh, is it worth to build or buy? I'm on the fence of building, but understand why people want to build their own stuff. Build because, uh, because you can make your own little twists. Well, you know, I'll be that guy 
where I definitely think building is the best way. I definitely agree building is best. However, it's only best if A, you have somebody who knows what they're doing with it, or B, you know what you're doing with it. I wouldn't say, like, I, some people tend to, like, pop out and be like, oh, all you need to do is look up online. And I'll be the first to tell you that I recently have only gotten a PC, like, a year ago. And I had to look up and learn everything the hard way. And by the hard way, I mean, it, <laughs> for somebody who never really owned a PC before last year, it was really hard learning everything because I... I had to do it because obviously I have this YouTube channel that I care about and I needed to figure out like what I needed for settings that would actually benefit me for streaming, recording, etc. And I had to learn. But I'm glad I did because now I understand more about computers and exactly what I need out of a computer. However, <laughs> even though I understand what I need out of a computer and what like how powerful I need a computer to be, I still don't understand every single part. Whether I understand like each part, like yes, okay, I know the CPU is like the main computing part of it. Haha, -ha. I know the VRAM is the graphics card and most games want you to have at least eight recommended gigabytes of VRAM. Like I, I know certain stuff like that. It's more labeled to like gaming. However, like when it comes to like, okay, which part's better? Like if this, is this 2080 better than this 2080? Or is that 2080 better than the next 2080? How much better is a 2080 Ti than a 2080? <laughs> or 2080 Super, whatever the fuck they're called. Like there's so many different types and so many different versions of the same thing that it's very confusing for me. I'll be first to say it's extremely confusing. And I'm the type that if somebody was like, oh yeah, this is definitely better than the other, I'll doubt it because I don't understand it. However, luckily I have a friend. Uh, he's my best friend and he works with computers. He knows what he's talking about. And I built a $545 desktop. That's about what I spent because we already had some parts. We had the case, we had the power supply, and we had a graphics card. So I only spent $545 replacing everything else, which was mainly, uh, mainly the CPU and RAM. So now I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on the desktop. We're literally just talking while I wait here, by the way. There wasn't a lot to explore on the train. Other than there is a weapons case here or just a case in general that you can loot um as i was saying though it is uh it is still very confusing just make sure you have somebody helping you don't look up and look for like what's the best pc builds uh 2019 because they'll give you stuff and even that could be grossly overestimating like how much you need to pay it's definitely cheaper in the long run to build your own computer but if you really don't care or personally want to go through all that trouble I'm I personally am not gonna fault you for just buying a pre-built one however I do think you could get better deals or a better system that runs a lot better and is more powerful if you do build one um, like for the 10 the 1080p are you talking about like you like that's the max you'd ever want to play on like streaming or not like you'd like you'd want ultra graphics 1080p is that like what you're going for and it's okay i'm i am not either so and you don't know anyone oh that sucks <laughs> um yes it is okay um honestly i think it would be to be honest i don't think a 1660 would be i mean i think that's like that's cutting it close you know i think a 1660 would be cutting it close but that's just from the limited knowledge i have i think 1660 would probably be like a mid mid tier computer like you wouldn't really be able to play everything on like ultra very high or really have it look the best or have the best fps like it's it, you're, you're definitely gonna have to choose like how like it graphics over fps at that point <laughs> like even then with the 1080 uh 2060 would obviously be like way better um it's more of like a jump through a few generations i believe i think it's a few generations like maybe one two maybe three <laughs> i definitely know it's definitely better than the 1660. you get more options but you'd probably honestly if you were going to go for a new one i'd say to get the 2080 right now not the 2080 ti the 2080 ti is like 1200 at least like i'm sure you can find some sales yes but like a cheap one on like new egg is like i think it's like 1200 at the very least, I think it's a little bit more than that, but I'm just going to say 1200. 
20 ATI is obviously the best one you can get, though I guess people could argue like different versions of it, etc. But a 2080 is like the second best, even though you can argue that there is others for different reasons. From what I've seen and recommend, it'd be the 2080 because it's like 580, 560 dollars. It's like a, a, little, a little less, a little more than half off the 2080 Ti, and it's still the second best one on the market you could probably get. Um, it depends on what you're wanting to do. And yeah, as Taylor said, it does depend on what you're doing, wanting to do. Like, do you want to stream and record? Do you want to stream and record while you play a game on the same PC? Or do you have a dual PC set up? Are you going to stream and record with another PC? Are you just gaming in general? Like, are you just going to play Minecraft? <laughs> like, it really depends on the game, depending on if you're going to stream and record, or if you're going to stream, record, and game at the same time, or just one. It, like, it's really just what you're interested in there, and then you could build a probably cheaper and lower one, depending on it. And it also depends if you want to play 4K. Because that makes a huge difference too. Like 4K itself, it, like, and say you don't want, you want more than 30 FPS. Uh, I do want to play AAA games and also flight simulator types of setup. So pretty much gaming in general. Um, well, you could play AAA games with a 1080, like graphics, not like 4K or anything. Oh, okay. So look at that. It just it just shuts. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so I thought that maybe I, I'm a little bit disappointed. You know, pause on that. I'm a little bit disappointed with the train. Not not completely. Obviously, I like the idea of going on the train. Definitely seems like you could like fight your way off and like people would like have a last stand there. I don't know if that's the only way out though. I think no, no, because there was four when we first came in. So there's definitely four ways out. I think that's gonna be the most dangerous way. I think people are gonna really want to extract on that train. Uh, I was expecting it to, like, start moving a little before it did the extract, you know? I think that would have been cool, but I'm gonna go with what I got. A run-through? I was here for 42 minutes! What do you mean a run-through? Uh, but yeah. It's like, it, right there, it's like, you can play AAA games, probably with the 1660, definitely with the 2060. But it's like, do you want to play those AAA games at the ultra graphics on 1080p? Like for your monitor like do you want to play 1080p ultra graphics on like every game you play for the next like few years or do you want to just like right now like you just want to play 1080p on like high like it really matters there because do you want every option on or not <laughs> is what you really want to be concerned about even if it's just gaming like you say if it's just you gaming that obviously lessens the load like on the cpu you like you won't be having to worry about the resources being used up by recording or streaming so if you're just focusing on gaming that won't be a huge issue let's go to reserve again 14 just oh no Whew. <sighs> didn't check uh didn't check offline almost went into an accident all online that would have been terrible <laughs> for me <laughs> would have lost a lot of water Whew. Almost had a heart attack. But yeah, it, it, there's a lot of things that we really need to like na narrow it down on. Okay, reserve. Let me pay attention this time. Next, next. Enable offline. Ready. There we go. <laughs> you want me to YOLO it when I have 10 things of water on me? That's like my whole entire su supply. And I'm sure you guys know, Water has, like became a shit ton more valuable. Meds became a shit ton more valuable because at now, I don't know if you guys know this already, I'm sure you do, but if say you die, let's just say we died, right? That means all of our arms and legs, head, would all be at 30%. And if we were thirsty and we left a raid, say we just lived and we made it out and we were still thirsty, we would have to still drink that water outside of raid. Like we'd have to repair our injuries outside of raid. They persist outside of the raid now. So everything got a lot more serious and I'm not, I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to lose that right now. Not yet. I'll brave it after. <laughs> I'm still debating on my first solo if I want to go out with just a pistol or if I want to go out like with the best that I can right at the start. Uh, 10, 1080 gaming at high. Also, would you recommend a Skytech Shadow PC at a Ryzen 7 and an RTX 2070? Um, I honestly don't know what an Ryzen 7 is, but an RTX 2070, honestly, I think that'd be fine. I definitely think you could do that. 
for a 1080 gaming at high, I definitely think a 27 would be, uh, 2070 would be perfect for that. I think you'd be fine. And then, like, obviously, if you take care of it, I think it lasts, like, a good, a good while. I think, say, let's say three to four years. Let's say you don't break it or anything or drop it. I think three to four years, and you'll be fine. Before you're like, okay, at that point, I would suggest getting the 2080, because right now it's five, uh, 560, 580. So by, like, four to five years, you could probably then get the 2080 for, like, 300, maybe? 400, maybe? I don't really know the drop in price over years, but... I definitely think if you're going for like as cheap as possible, but still be able to play AAA games at 1080 on a high, I definitely think a 2070 do, would do that. And I definitely think even with a 2070, you might even be able to do very high to ultra. Not on every game, but I think you could definitely find games you could do that on. Oh, let's see. Man, I'm so glad you guys decided to talk. Is ray tracing a gimmick? Um, are you basically asking if ray tracing actually matters or if it does anything? <laughs> because if so, it actually does do something. It, it just makes the lighting look better. Honestly, it's like if you go into a game with a lot of lights and a lot of different types of lights, is it going to make a difference? Yes, <laughs> it, it does make a difference. And it, thank you. I, I really am very much appreciating it. Hell, it would have been boring as hell if I was doing it by myself for the entire time. I would have done it, but it's completely different when there's people to actually talk to and explain things about, like, whether it's just shits for giggles or not. But yeah, basically, let's let's look at a regular light, and we just see one, and like, oh yeah, that's a mighty fine light. <laughs> With ray tracing, we'd be like, damn, that's a nice light. Um, It's not, I wouldn't really say it's revolutionary, to be honest. A lot of people say like it is a lot of people over talk it i think it's really good i think it's really nice i think it really does make games look better i just don't think that it's awe-inspiring that i look at it and i'm like this makes the whole game better <laughs> like this is this makes the game <laughs> like i definitely don't think it's that but i definitely think it's welcome and if you can have it on i definitely suggest having it on especially if you can run it i'm the type of person that wants my game to be at ultra like we're playing ultra right now I don't think I'm going to have it stay at Ultra. Like, I don't think everything is going to be at Ultra when I'm playing online with others. Because, like I said, when I was playing online, it did have some lag. So I really don't know where I can push it. And plus, like I said, it, it probably needs some time to get more hot fixes in, more stability, etc., until I can find it. Well, uh, <laughs> I'd say yeah. I'd say yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I play mine is like I like to keep the textures on high because like the I want it like what I'm immediately seeing I want on high I'd say anything graphical Has the ability to tank FPS However, it's uh Basically from what I understand it's shadows it's texture and then let's see shadows texture and then it's like the What is it RS SSAO RSS Those settings I'll have to open it up when I get in the game and I can show you some specifically with Escape from Tarkov that are the big problems. It'd definitely be loading distance, like how far you see things and like how far away do you load something into like perfect detail or like great detail. Uh, but Ultra when learning maps. Honestly, if I could, I would have this at Ultra every, like all the time, even when I go on raids online, because I want to see this game at its best. I want to see every game I play at its best. The biggest problem, though, before point 12 was that I had to turn down the, the grass so that I could compete with everybody else. Because, ooh, there was a little bit of lag there. Pretty sure you saw that. But, I mean, I could just chalk that down to loading in. So, like, pretty much, for example, like, look at how far we see grass now. Look it. <laughs> That's great. Before, though, like... You could see the little box to our left on the next to the tracks. That'd be like the distance everybody to have their grass to. Like anything further than that, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not really that much. Anything further than that, and you just wouldn't see the grass like the detail to our left or right. Like you could see like a little bit out there. It seems like it. No, no, definitely everything is being rendered there where it's supposed to be, or at least where it was made to. Let's try to go back to where we were before. 
So there was a lot of ways that people could turn down a lot of settings to get an advantage. And I felt that even though I could go ultra and I could just decide to do that, I just felt like I had to go down and I had to lower my settings just to compete with that unfair advantage that other people had. It It's not cheating. I'm not going to say it is at all. But to me, I felt cheated out of being able to experience Escape from Tarkov at all of its glory. And I'm definitely not saying that anyone's wrong for doing that. I just personally am not the person that wants to do that. However, because of that advantage for other people and the disadvantage for me, I felt personally obligated to do that myself. So I'm glad that, at least from what I've seen so far, I don't have to and can't actually mess with the graphic settings. Well, it doesn't look like I can get up there. What if I sprint? Let's see, if I'm running from somebody, can I just jump up? Parkour! Okay, no. People are not going to be able to do that very easily. So let's grab this settings right here. Just give you a quick little walk, so. Just real quick. You can see everything is at the max. The only thing I don't have on is Z-Blur and noise. Noise, at least from what I understand, just adds like a little film grainy thing. Uh, I may or may not turn off grass shadows. Honestly, like I said, I like everything on. <laughs> I, I got to see like how everything looks. I might just scab run. Just, and then like see like online if it's indeed maybe the new maps having some problems or maybe the other one uh, we'll, we'll see like if I can actually play with everything to the absolute max except for shadow visibility that is not max you know what ha! there we go we're gonna put that at 200 next run through you should put AI to see their spawns um, I definitely I definitely can I think with the next run through we can uh, We'll be able to uh, get through all of this. I, I definitely am going to do that, and I definitely do it. Like, I think by the time we finish uh, exploring everything, I'll put the AI scabs in so we do a quick run through of it with scabs before going to the hideout. Oh, wow. Having the visibility to 200, like now, I think you could see in the distance, you could see the shadows, like by that pipe, the little railroad stations under there i mean it doesn't look like we really lost too much putting the visibility for the shadows at 200. so now i guess now it's truly at <laughs> max because i did have it at 65 beforehand uh, we gotta walk through these buildings okay can't get in there easily this is definitely gonna be a choke point right here Maybe, like, if you climbed up here, you could grab, like, a jump on somebody walking through this way. Although, I think you'd be just as equally screwed if somebody, like, came around and was like... Let's see. Like, say somebody's just sneaking through here and they're like this. I don't think they'd instantly look up there, though. I think if you were up there, you'd have the advantage over the person coming around here. I think that'd be a great place to be if you could get up there. Only way to tell, though, is to actually try. Oh, yeah, you could definitely get up here. Oh, yeah. I definitely think you have the advantage. Oh, and... No, no, no. But you could throw a grenade over there if you wanted to. That'd be nice. I think we've already checked through everything here, but we just need to make sure, because we checked that, and I kind of skipped this building right here. Okay, we can't get in that. We established we can walk on top of these destroyed areas. And you can actually get up here. Not good cover. Um, two ways on this angle. I don't think there's anything we can climb to get up here. There's a guitar here, though. Mm. I'm wondering if there's actually a mounted weapon on the other side. Got a little case here we can loot. we doing yeah just some more entrances i think we've gotten what we can out of this area right here so we're gonna move on to the next uh it's probably people who are uh pc elitists or people who bought it expected more didn't really understand what they were getting and then assumed that they were gonna get something better than what they got that's probably why 
Yep, there is a mounted one on both sides. And they're both the same, I believe. You could really... Oh yeah, you could really fuck somebody up with this. I don't really know if you could check how much ammo this has. Wait, can I get on this and like... Let's see, alt tab. Oh yeah, about half. Right there. It has like a little lagging sound when you fire it, but that, that'll be fixed after a little while. So at least now we know it comes with ammo and you don't have to bring your own. What do you think about the RX 580 series? I actually don't know anything about that. So I can't give my opinion on that, unfortunately. Okay, so we've officially checked through this place. I'd say pretty thoroughly. What is... Okay, yeah, that's the entrance to the underground. We already got that. So we are going to go this way now. Close to where we started before. We're definitely where we spawned this time through. Ooh. Okay, here... I think... Yeah. Okay, you could definitely pull something off here. If a little angle you get on somebody. Not the best place for cover, but... Out of sight, out of mind, maybe. Oh, wait. I don't think you can get up there. Let's see. No, you definitely can't get up there. It would have been a nice place to lay down and then pop up the snipe. Although, you could get wrecked yourself being up there. Personally, don't have an opinion on it. Never looked into it. Yeah, I don't know too much about it. So, I don't think we can actually get to those apartments over there, but we're going to try. Because then we're going to go over here. And after we're done exploring this area, we can walk over that way. And then explore inwards. I think we're about halfway done exploring this map, I believe. Okay, let's see. A little place to stop there if you needed to. And you can actually get under this. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I crouched by accident, probably? I don't... I didn't actually... Oh, wow, actually. Look at the animations for crawling. Was it always like that? Or maybe it's because I had a gun in my hand. I never noticed that. I always have a gun in my hand when I'm crouching or and crawling, so I never really notice the moving animation like that. I don't think I can actually get over there. I'll check the trail over here. But before that, is there a shorter way? No. There's not. Uh, here we go. Now we gotta be careful because, as I mentioned before, we can actually get hurt by this barbed wire. There we go. Let's not get taken out by mines, right? I don't think we can actually get to that apartment now that I'm getting closer to it. Oh, and we actually can't crawl under this, so I think that's just for, you know, visual appeal. It definitely tricked me into thinking I can get that way. But I don't think we can get- Ah! <laughs> I don't think we can get there. There we go. Okay, we're good. I didn't check this one out, but let's just carefully- but Can we? Oh, wait, there's a little hole over here. Okay. Another sniper's nest. Oh yeah, we definitely can't get there. Definitely cannot get there. We'll run around the left side because we still have to check out the area over there. But I definitely... Yeah, I don't think we're going over there anytime soon right now. Maybe like in the future when they expand on this map if they do. But not right now. Please don't hurt me. I'm just going for a stroll. Any difference in the i5, i7 just like the Ryzen series? Well, I'm assuming that any generation above is just going to be better than the previous ones. So like I, like I said in, earlier, there is exceptions where sometimes like an earlier gen might actually be better than like one generation up. Uh, this map has raiders and scavs or just scavs? I think it's just scavs because I think the raider thing was just an event for the wipe. But I'm not too sure myself. I can't obviously check it out. Like I can't type it out. It might take some time. It required me to stop doing, like, stop moving. <laughs> I think uh, determining, like, what generation is better, to be honest, would lie under somebody else who knows more about it than I would. Uh, can I actually loot that right here? Yeah, okay. 
So yeah, we definitely can't get over there. So like, we won't have to worry about anyone there. I think it would be expanded upon. I think this right here is an exit. Oh, wait. No, 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 it's blocked. But I think that's one of the extractions. There is four, right? I double tapped though. Can you tell me them? Yeah, there's four. Wow, this is actually, for a sniper's nest, this is the most defensed one I walked in. Because like I, oops, sorry, I had to burp. Like I said, I didn't really explore all of them. But this is a nice little place to be. You could see a, probably a really, really good distance. And then depending on how good of a sniper you are, that could probably be like one of your like go-to areas, place you could probably love. Um, there's a performance. Uh, I definitely think that, since it's military, it could have uh, raiders. I think it'd be nice. I, d I definitely know that they have a boss. Like, if I switch over, I won't be able to see chat for a second. And I go here to added. New boss called Gluckar is in the area base. Uh, military base, not area base, the military base. Uh, what it says, he believes this territory is his property and will protect it, taking defensive positions in one of the many fortified locations here. Um... His people can use the mounted weapons, so be careful of that. Six-man team, each member has his own role. The guards will always be close to the boss. The stormtroopers can move forward and attack the enemy at another point. The head watch are the first to notice the enemies, so they're the scouts, and they impose a fight on them, so they'll always be the first ones to pay attention to you. Uh, the boss and his team will tend to stay in their protected areas. They won't actually leave that much, and they'll attack from windows or, you know, anywhere they can have... Uh, a uh, fortified place and apparently they use advanced tactics while fighting indoors and have a special model behavior on open terrain but i haven't seen them yet so we can check they can use stationary weapons i said that they can attack or retreat to protect the boss as the train approaches the boss and his team will try to occupy the landing platform uh, they use all available weapons and often wear heavy body armor and helmets and there's also now a boss on woods Okay, let's see. So, they're most likely going to be, like, right there. Bunker. In a building. Okay, this is definitely looks like we're going to be near a spawn area. Okay, okay. So, we're near a spawn. This, I, I think this is definitely an extract. Oh, yep. You need to bring friendly... Wait, what? scav lands you need to bring friendly scav in order to extract i wonder if that means like i'm a scav and another scav is there and we extract or you and another scav player can extract there because it said friendly scav Ooh, looks like a place you'd like step here and you'd find somebody like selling something here uh, we have wares. Did they add... Oh, yeah. It wasn't point twelve supposed to add voice chat. Or did they back off against that? I'm pretty sure I saw it was supposed to have voice chat. But I did not see that. Oop, there's a hole in the wall. So you don't have to open the door. There was also another door over here. <laughs> um, Let's see. What you say? <laughs> that is funny. Uh, the first time I ran into Killa, I, uh, Killa's the one at the dorms, I believe, right? He's on customs? No, on interchange. Killa's on interchange. Who's the one who's at customs? Is that still Killer? or is that another one? I don't actually know his name. I just remember running into the scab boss on customs, and I was in the dorms, and I was going to look for a keychain. Oh, there was a little lag right there. I was going to look for a key bar. That's what it is, not a keychain. Jesus Christ. And... I walked right up to the second floor, and they all just rushed me, and luckily I killed them all, but it's mainly because I, I held myself up in a room and just continuously fired as they came in and reloaded, and luckily they didn't kill me while I was reloading, because I would have I would have instantly died if they all came in at once, but they came in like one to two at a time, like by the time I killed the first one, the second one had come in and I was already firing on him, and then I had a little break to reload, like it was insane, and I got the golden pistol and i was just i felt so cool i was so happy and then i was so mad that i didn't actually have it recording or i was streaming because it was something that i personally found like super amazing 
Mm, okay, some looting areas here. Nothing really amazing. Light is bright as fuck in my eyes. So I want to get that little bunker over there as the last thing we explore. Or this one. That one right there will leave to be last. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it maybe will be underwhelming if I leave the apartments as last. So I think above this is just... Ooh! Grenade launcher. Okay, yeah. Of course I want to try this. Am I lagging there? Yeah, I think I was. Oh, okay. It tells me where I'm heading. Okay, okay. Whoop! Oh, okay. Look at that. Shows. Hup! Um. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. I don't remember what his name is either. Wait, is this. Oh, it's blown up. Ah! Oh my god. I could. You could wreck people with this. Oh! I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. I think this looks dope. But if somebody was really out there, like, say that was just me over there aiming and somebody was just like. <laughs> How do you live from this? How do you get away from this? <laughs> How, like, How do you get away from that? There was so much ammo in that. Like, you're you're fucked. Like, a guy, a guy sees you out in the open like that and they actually aim correctly. You're fucked. Like, just get, kiss your ass goodbye. You ain't living from that. Like, that is just that is spam quality i mean i'm happy because if that was me and i was using it to kill somebody i'd feel happy as fuck because good luck surviving that unless i miss it, it, it is a little bit slow turning and you probably can sprint faster i'm just saying you get hit by that you're fucking done but like ignore that fact it does seem like it fast it uh fires a little bit too fast if i'm being honest Okay, definitely a place you can hide, but it's kind of pointless because they'd be expecting it. Um, what is that? Oh, didn't mean to take that. Not like I can keep it anyways. But I do want to find out what it is because I don't know if I've seen that before in this game. Phased Array. Oh yeah, look at that. Phased Array Element. Probably a new quest material or just a new item in general. Oh, how's our water, by the way? Let's drink like 40 of it. You know, match what we're at. There we go. We're good. And then just for, you know, shits and giggles, we're going to make sure we check all of it. Ooh. Okay, so this is a place you could hide. And if you heard somebody come in and you could quietly sneak around and then get the drop on them. That'd actually be the best place for that. Okay, so not a huge compound, but still interesting. I mean, a new map's welcome no matter what, right? Okay, let's sprint over here. I'm just glad there's no mines inside the walls. Wish I could use that. <laughs> let's see. Badly, the more we actually go over here and explore the outside, the more it closes in what we can explore inside. Okay, just another tower. So we're going to go to the bunker now yeah we're going to the bunker oh actually we can't i think this might be the one that we have to unlock because i saw in the trailer people unlocked one maybe we'll find it though there is that bunker we have to unlock and i don't think we'll be able to actually unlock it in offline so at best we'll probably be able to like go down and just see the door shut <laughs> hmm a little woody area. Place you could probably snipe people from afar here. Yeah, definitely definitely gonna happen. Ooh. Got a little path here. So that's a little bit of the wood element, but I don't know, I don't wanna say nobody's gonna be out here. Because people probably could come in here. They could probably be like, you know what? I want to go to a safe area or travel around safely. So that I'm going to walk on the outskirts. And it's probably going to be people who come out here. There is a little path up here, though. Which you can climb up and snipe from. Definitely. 
I, I honestly don't think that it's really the best to snipe from here because of all the trees in your way. But I mean, if somebody was like down here, this would give you a pretty good advantage over them. From here down that way is actually really good. And I did not realize I could actually go to this array, uh, array tower up here, which is good because now that I do know I can go there, I'm going to go there. But there's actually a path this way. Okay, please don't blow me up. Please don't let this be a place with mines. Okay, okay, okay just closed off area. Get another path to the array. This is gonna be fun. Okay. One, two, two still. There's only two ways in from this side and two ways out from this side. Can't get in here. We need a breach. So we have to breach through these ones? It looks like that's the only way in is by breaching. Yeah. So I, I don't actually know how we get in there. At least right now. This one we can actually open. Okay, we got file cabinets. This is most likely we're going to find keys. HDDs. Got a safe here. It's actually unlocked. I don't know if it actually switches between locked and unlocked. That's something I actually don't know about is if the game switches safes like randomly generated to lock one game and unlock another. Um, is that stairs? Okay, that is stairs. So we're not going down there yet. Because I want to explore outside then in. Got two boxes we can see there. Can walk around. Yep. This is obviously out of bounds here, so this is only just to get around this building. Oh, that's an extraction point. You need a paracord. You need RR for the cliff descent. Okay, so it's like a specific like thing you'll need to climb down because it like reenacts or pretends like you are using these things to climb down the mountain, which is cool. Cool. If there's a little cutscene, you know. Okay, you definitely climb out here, but can you climb up? Yes, you can. You can definitely climb up to get in. Okay, so I crouched at the same time as I was jumping. Go around for a different way. Just another way down, so we'll leave that for now. We can walk around and explore this more. Can we climb up from down here? Yes, we can. There's definitely multiple ways to get in. Let's see. One, two, three directions you can get to get up here or take to get in here. And then, like, on that side, two paths, and on that side, two paths that ultimately lead you in the same A and B, we'll call it. Okay. Do that side pretty easily. Oh, my birthday's tomorrow happy birthday andy i know it's early i mean it's actually 11 minutes until the ne the day of your birthday how many slaps are you getting I, I like how you say slaps because that happened to me too i gotta specify it was out of love <laughs> most of the time well i like the uh aesthetic i guess i like how it looks can i climb actually under this no no can i me in? No? Okay, yeah, that would have been nice. I mean, just going through this, I think, gives me, like, an advantage over other people. Just because I have a... At least, even if I don't remember everything that I'm seeing here, I'll have a brief understanding of, like, where everything is. Hmm. Oh, I came from this side, right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely came from that side. Can I actually run out that window? Like, if I needed to, could I sprint and jump out, like... Huh. Ooh, mighty mighty nice can I actually sprint and jump back in if I was like oh god no please don't <laughs> could I could I jump in no okay no I'm sure like on the off chance you like timed it perfectly you might be able to slip in but no, it's a lot easier jumping out than in or at least if you hit sprint and then jump you will be able to uh, don't forget to hit c like as the crouch because i'm pretty sure that like is what makes it a huge difference 
I'm pretty sure you jump out of there, you just die. So don't jump from second floor. I just don't even want to test it. Uh, open door. Okay, you could hide in there, but I mean, honestly, I don't know what the point of hiding in there would be. Not going that way. And open that door. Door's blocked. Again, you could probably jump out there, but I don't see why you do it. Oh, don't. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I always do that by accident. Although, it'd be, it'd be kind of curious to know just how loud that is. No, oh, damn it. Did it again. Damn. I just kind of assume that I can go through all the doors. I don't know why. My god-given right to go through any direction I want and any door I want. Okay, this is the way I came. Yes? Definitely the way I came. I don't know why I thought... Yeah, I had somehow tricked myself to thinking I came from the other direction and it was just another set of stairs. Ooh. Creepy. Let's, like, move our, like, walk to, like... There we go. Right here. Okay, nothing at all in there. At least not immediately that we can see. Firing from the third, like down here. If we heard somebody immediately down here, it'd be really bad. It'd be best to throw grenades. But we could use this to like see over there, like out there. If there was somebody moving. We could probably use this to snipe from. I mean, you don't really got the best angles. And it probably wouldn't be that great. But I mean, you do have that option if you so choose. Okay, let's explore this after we go through this room. Again, you can probably jump out these windows, specifically that one, and you can actually get back in this way. Okay, that's locked. You could definitely go prone and hide under, like, right here, if you needed to. I don't think crouching would cut it. Yeah, crouching would definitely not cut it. Although, if you wanted to gangster shoot with alt and uh, W... I definitely think you could. I don't know how effective that'd be, but you could do it. Here's the back entrance up that we could have taken. Okay, let's, let's actually drink that for the hell of it. I don't think examining anything here actually adds anything. Ooh, jeez. I think you'll still have to re-examine because it's offline. It doesn't count catching anything. Okay, don't walk that way. Okay, open that for now. We'll run around here. So this... Oh, boy. I mean, assuming you don't get out sniped, this would be a great place to, like, have overwatch. You can't see everything, but you can damn well see a pretty good area, especially over in this left area, like, down here. You could definitely see down here in some areas, but honestly, I think that's the better end you want to aim for. Let's see what can we see from can we see the entire map let's see no we cannot because i think that warehouse like way out in the distance like over there is the actual train station yep that that is if you had a sniper you could probably see from here to there this is probably the best sniping spot in this map probably also extremely dangerous and the most dangerous place to be when you're sniping oh look at that there's two ways in However, it is most definitely the place with the most oversight of the area. Can't open this one. But we just get in, walk up. We got a weapons crate. And, uh... Yeah, just a little array. Nothing too fancy. Most in all day right there. Oh yeah, you could definitely do that. You could do, uh, what is it, the... The MA1? Is it? Is that what it is? The MA1? I think I'm missing something. It's not the M4A1, is it? I'm missing something there. I'm definitely missing something. There's some either letter or number I'm missing for that. <laughs> that was the one I was using for... Uh, it was a marksman rifle, and I was using that as my sniper. Okay, so we're done exploring here. So we're going to go down.
You could obviously use this area to snipe too. Like at any one of these rocks, you could snipe down on. I mean, I'll be honest, like, it's running pretty smooth offline, but I am offline. I think online with all of the altars and everything is going to be where an issue starts because of the intense firefights, the intense sprinting, grenades, and just the player count on the map. That is going to be, like, the true test. I mean, obviously, we can, like, at the end of exploring this... I will definitely be able to put on scabs, scab boss, all that, put on like a regular run minus the players just to see how, you know, it works out. I mean, I'm going to die. I will be honest with you straight up. I'm going to die. It's going to happen. However, I did say that that's what I'm going to do before going over to hideout and checking that out, assuming it's working because I did see some people say that they were having some issues with it, at least with the upgrading. So... Bloop. There may be something keeping me from going in as well. Okay, just a regular area. Nice little coverage. Uh, maybe not. Have faith, man. <laughs> I have faith in myself that I will probably die. <laughs> it's not much. It's, it's, it's honest work. Ouch. Hurt myself. Okay, so now we're going to check this out. And then we'll move in towards the apartments as well. There's a lot to go through. Ooh. Gara so we'll move from this building to this little garage area. It looks like it's a garage, so we're going to go with the garage, okay? Don't judge me. Okay, for a second I thought can I open that, and I was going to say very misleading. Um... Hmm. Oh, you could definitely hide in the corner here. And if you heard somebody coming through, you could definitely be ready to throw them. Same here. You could just, like, you get your gun ready and hit here. I don't know how much protection this is going to have, but I definitely think you could use this as a hiding spot. Not so much on the other one. Oh, look at this one, actually. It does pretty well. I don't know what breaching does. Like, if somebody's on the other end of the door when you breach it, like, will they take damage? Um, you could use this to fire at other people from, although it's probably not going to be that effective from that door. And you'll, you'll be ready to get wrecked from this door if you do use that for that purpose. Yeah, not really the most defendable area. Okay. Ah. See. Oh, oh, look at that. I was actually going to see if we could go down there. Oh, but it's just a quick drop. Oh, but there's a weapons case or just an item case down here. Tool case. Not even any of those. Jesus Christ. Like the game's trying to make me look like a fool. Kidding. I do that all by myself. Let's go over to this. I did say we were going to that garage, but this is a tiny place and we can get it out of the way. Look at a gun's laying right there. Let's take it just for shits and giggles. There we go. Now we have something in our hand. Just, just because. Um, can I actually stand on that? Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, yeah, you could totally, you could totally aim over. Okay, you could do that. Really not much else you could do in here. I mean, you could use it for cover. Okay, okay. Go back to the garage so we don't forget. Can't run through both sides there, but there's a case in there, it looked like. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Oh, there's a hole there, though. I think we can get in through that side. We'll check that out. A lot of places you could take cover in here if you were in a firefight and run between. 
Look at it. There's your advertisement. There's your uh, fan service. There we go. She just said fan service first. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. There you go. I don't know why advertisement was the first thing that came to mind. My brain was probably like, okay, fan service. Okay, what, what's what's fan service? So I was like, okay, it's it's an advertisement or something. And my brain's like, okay, yell it out. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's my one chance. Not as cool. You could easily just walk in that, crouch through there, or go in the door. But we'll we'll come back. We we got time. Let's go check out the hole in the wall we saw. Because we definitely want to check them out. Okay, run through the bushes. Does it slow us down? Doesn't look it. Aha! Is this the one? Nope, wrong one. Too many holes in the wall. Ah, oh, damn. That was just a window. Sign, that's fine. See, I don't know what to do about the doors that say breach that you actually can't breach. Okay, yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. You know, I just felt like trying. Oh, there was a little bit of lag there. Or stutter. A lot of people say that's just the game stuttering. So that's also conflicting too, because I don't actually know if that's anything to do with me. Like, if it's gonna stutter itself, how do I know if I'm actually causing the stutter? If it's the, like, oh, there's the train. How do I know if it's like my system causing the stutter or if it's the game? Like, at what point do I know? Okay, so this is the next building we're going through. I think this is the one we saw inside the trailer too, like one of them. Like that they showcased, because they obviously they didn't showcase everything. Getting a little bit of sweat going on. Okay. This is where you could sneak in. You. Oh yeah, you could definitely hop in through there. Hard hat. Be dope if you could grab that. More file cabinets. There we go. We could always see keys. Uh, stutter's always the game, mainly because everyone I watch stutters. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe it's just because, you know, I was thinking like, maybe it does have some tie to me. There's a lot of jackets in here. You could look for keys too. So I honestly don't know where the exit is after that. I'll just run to the edges. Seems like the train is like the main exit. Like, whereas the other ones have certain conditions. Can't breach that one. Actually, I, no, I think this one opens out. Yeah, opens out. That one actually looks like it may need a key. Maybe the ones that say breach normally have a key, but I thought they say locked. Is that what they do? Ugh, it's been a while. Yeah, that one you can't go both sides. I mean, you could hide in them. Oh, this one is probably like the best one you could hide in. Just because you could like be like waiting here. You could be like, <laughs> come on, bitch. <laughs> like I definitely think you could hide there. Can you open this door? Oh. Okay, and now we need to go to the top floors. I'll just have my character go MIA if I absolutely need to. No need to extract. It's offline, so not not a huge deal. Okay, so this one, like, I guess the best thing to do here, like, I guess you could aim here, but it'd be pretty bad. I guess it'd be better to just, you know, do that. Although I don't really use all the different combinations in this anyways. Like, I'll be honest. There's a lot of combinations for like what you can press. If you have a key, it has a third option to use it. It'll say breach and open. Oh, okay. Look at this. Little ceiling, you can get a drop on somebody. Oh, look at that. That's the area where I came out and hopped in. Well, that's nice. Okay, so you got to be wary of that. Hmm. Just fire straight across. So we'll go there next. That'll be our next place. I don't need to collect anything. Parts of me are like, pick up everything you can. And I'm like, no, no, we're just walking around. Calm down. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we get another vantage point there. I'll drop down there after I explore the top of the roof here. 
I just hope I don't trick myself because like I've been exploring freely I hope that like my mind doesn't like subconsciously think oh, yeah, you know, you've been here before you're safe <laughs> And then like when I actually do go online, I'm just like la di da Hey, you can obviously snipe from here if you wanted or get advantage point being up but again like You know somebody has a sniper up there <laughs> Pretty fucking done I I want to sprint and jump to that roof To see if you can do it, but I doubt you can Just just because But now we're gonna drop down into this hole because I want to see what's down here. Hopefully we don't take a lot of damage yeah, we didn't but look at that. Oh Okay, another way out and in and a quicker way to the second floor Yeah, you could come here and probably actually not hop up there <laughs> Never mind, maybe just down maybe if you jump. Oh, yep. Oh, you can you just have to stand on top of this uh, Cylinder <laughs> canister <laughs> we're gonna call it a canister Don't make fun of me. Okay <laughs> Yeah, okay, you could definitely do it, although it, it will make more noise than if you just snuck down on the first floor. So I don't know exactly how, like, which one's quicker. It'd probably be quicker just to do that if you're trying to go straight to the second floor. More file cabinets. You obviously get the advantage up here if anybody's, like, on that end. Plus, not only is there a case here, not a regular, that's just a wooden case. Plus, they can't just come here. I don't, I don't think they could just sprint and jump through here. Like, they have to sprint downstairs, then maybe they can get over it. But you'll easily be able to hear that. Okay. Throw a grenade down there. No point going here unless somehow people can get over there. I don't think people can, but we'll find out. No, nobody can. Okay, so we've, we've definitely explored the extent here. And this is actually a dead end right here. Didn't even wrap around. Okay, so now we're running straight across to this building. 16 minutes left in this. Armored train is gone. Oh, see, look it. it. It is slowing you down. See, the grass did slow you down. Let's sprint. Yep. Bushes do slow you down if you run straight through like heaps of them. Well, it's confirmed now. See? Instantly slows you down. Yep. That's good to know. Okay, so this building is the last one in this area that we need to see. It looks like it has the same window pane area that the other one has. Um, you could definitely crawl down in here. No? Oh, look at that. They blocked it up. Another door there. Assuming that all the doors that open in this always open normally. More coats that you can search through. Excuse me. Uh, no. What about this one? Yep. More coat. You can shoot out at people running there. Door opens. Bathroom. You can jump out the window. Can't go out this door. Seems like it's going to be a fun one. This is a more metal one, but you can actually do it. Yeah, you could shoot a little bit out here, but other than that, that's probably a kill room. You don't want to stay in there. Excuse me, can you? Thank you. Uh, you could definitely get out there, too. I never really jump out windows a lot, and I don't really think I've gotten the option to. That's a file cabinet, but you can't loot that one, I think. It looks destroyed. Got a few exits here. Ugh, my stomach. Cannot not leave out here. And that doesn't lead upstairs. I figured that would be the staircase. But it's not. Thank God I wasn't playing and running away from somebody. Actually, can we even get upstairs? It, if we can, it has to be outside. I'm 
Ooh, there's a little bit of a stutter there. Not a fan of the stutters. I don't think anybody is, though, to be honest. Okay, there's a little... Shed. Oh, no. I don't think you can go up there. I'm gonna do a quick gander, because I think I saw the staircase over here. That I might have just... Subconsciously passed by. Yeah, right here. There we go, yep. Okay, good. I had to double check just to make sure. And I was right. You could definitely hop out there or shoot out there if you wanted. Bathroom again. Although this is a more interesting one. It's not the exact same copy paste that we saw on the first floor. Okay, it seems we can go up one more floor and that's going to take us to the roof. I kind of like overshot that because my walking speed was so high. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Dead and no point in shooting through there unless we're shooting at somebody on the roof. Boop, boop. File cabinets, two stack. We can actually open that. Actually, what is our terrible, terrible way to shoot out? Got a tree, but we do got a jacket in there, I saw. That's blocked, and this might be the last door that we can get in. We can't. Okay, so other than being able to shoot up from here at people coming in through the garage, we finished exploring that and seeing our tactical advantages. Um, again, we get that window on the same side. See, the roof will go there last. Ooh. Same office or different? We got three cabinets and a jacket in there. Wow, okay. A little hub area that you could hang out. I could picture something being here. One cabinet. Yeah, one cabinet here. And then if we wanted to snipe through windows or just down at people, this would be a good area you could hang. Just chill out. Now the roof. Ah, great. You can't use that ladder, so that's pointless. Able to shoot down, I guess, but it's not really that accurate because you kind of would constantly be pushing against this. So you really couldn't utilize this the best. Because your gun might push across it, and that might actually get you killed. Weapons case, and you can actually stand on the weapons case, jump down. Oh, look at that. You can walk up that, but you can actually use that to walk down. We will use it to walk down right now, only because we've already explored everything there. And I'm gonna see if maybe there's a way to like lessen our drop. I don't think there is. Um, let's see. Watching you play on a new map makes me want to hop on Tarkov now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to drop at this wood right here. Oh yeah, don't do that because. That definitely takes some damage. Not a, not a shit ton, but still not not a crap ton either. You just don't want to risk it. You can if you need to get enough like a speedy recovery. Just make sure you're not rushing and actually run off too fast because you'll run and hit the ground, and that's an even further drop. Okay, look at that. We got a next place. We've already explored that too, so now we're moving in this way. Ooh, we've really covered a lot. At two hours and 23 minutes like this is like yeah there was like probably about 10 minutes of that so even if we pushed to 15 would be loading screen oh 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 usable no oh wow that that got me excited i thought it was a mortar that i was gonna be able to use for a second there okay there's a few places you can run dig yourself in if you're taking cover it definitely does make me want to actually play two, but this is just something like obviously like I want to finish doing like what I planned on do for this. I didn't think it was going to take this long though. Thought maybe it'd be an hour. Not that that's bad either. I'm completely fine with it taking this long as well because I mean it's a new map. Hopefully people get excited and see this and enjoy it. I, I mean I don't know. I don't really know if anyone's going to enjoy this. 
that's why I said it's like at the beginning like I like I don't think you were here at the very beginning like it's, it's new territory for me doing a video like this or a stream I don't know if anyone really cares enough about the new map to watch such an in-depth uh, exploration you know like I'm sure people care enough about the map to like learn about like tips and tricks and stuff but I don't know like if there's people out there who like care about like such an in-depth like walkthrough of a map showcasing i don't really know what to call it Got eight minutes to explore this building because i think we got a few buildings left too bad i can't put an unlimited time when i'm on offline definitely gonna be some shootouts here but great places to hide there's a few more apartments we have to hit. And then, like, I think after that, there really isn't that much left. I definitely think one more, uh... One more trip in... Is needed to finish it after this. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can hide under the stairs here. Can't really see because it's dark, but there's stairs here you can probably hide under. Yeah, there's nothing up here. I remember the first time like, I went into the offline for this. Like, that's where I went. And I climbed up here. And we have to take a right. Again, it, some parts of this area would be great with a flashlight. Definitely. Oh, uh, we could have fire down on people sneaking through here. That'd be pretty dope. At least you get to see, like, the map as is, though. Like, do you need to bring a flashlight? How useful would a flashlight be? Etc. It's also getting dark outside, though, so I think I'm benefiting less from the light. I'm out there. Oh, a nice little area. I think I need to check out that. Yeah, I think this apartment complex, like the, over at the edge, and that little tiny area is like the last thing. So I think I'm definitely gonna need one more run in, like of offline forward by itself. There's a staircase here that you could just barely see. The light is really killing it. Yeah. Okay. Same area. Two doors in. Another pathway. I'm gonna overlook the woods. A little checkpoint there. I'll have to check. I think I might as well just jump off the roof <laughs> when I can. It's getting a little bit too dark. You know what I'm saying? There we go. And I think that the other door to our right brought us out. Now that just brought us into another room right here. See? Can I actually jump from here? Yes, I can. Look at that. There's a couple cabinets in here. Okay. So we'll just go out the door and take a right so we can go back out to the roof. Okay. Hey. Again, a good place that you could probably fire at other people on the other roofs here or down below if you it's a very limited like it's a quick sprint if you can hit somebody in that quick sprint you know it would be worth taking the shot but it's not like you'd have a lot of cover to be able to fire at people there's a lot of places they can get to before you can take them out another area you can go to on top of the roof I feel like I like can race against it now you know I think yep there is look at that ah oh, crap okay um there's a stairway down from here and up four minutes i can go to that tiny building over there in four minutes let's uh hit live i think that's acting up hopefully the stream isn't acting get funky or anything let's see 
seems to be just fine. You're just seeing a little bit more artifacts because it's night. Yeah. Oh, there is the helicopter to check out too. That's good. Thanks for the update. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too dark now. Time to, time to fucking, um, get up to the top of this roof and jump off because three minutes is a long time to wait. And we want it to be completely bright. Gotten a little bit too, too unacceptable. We finished this building, which is what we wanted to do. And now we need to come in for one more run. And I think within that last run, we will be able to finish off the last few buildings we have. And then, then I can grab a drink, go to the bathroom and then start the one for the hideout. After, after uh, I do that, the hideout and that, I will do the scav boss fight. I'll have the scavs fight each other as well. And I'll have them in. And then after this, the hideout and the scav war, that's probably what I'll call it. I might just play by myself after that without streaming or just go to bed. I don't know. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh, I lived. Wow. Um. Okay. For future reference, if you sprint and jump, uh, you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll you'll lose your legs, but uh, you'll be fine. Just make sure you have two bandages for both leg. I don't know why I said leg instead of legs. And uh, morphine so you can run. I think that might reopen it though because you put bandages. Put a splint on. You'll need two splints, two bandages, and morphine. Okay, I don't think I can use a, that with it. Okay, yeah. But we're going to go kill ourselves. So in the worst case scenario, you need to jump off. Heads up, you can just sprint and jump off that roof. And you know, if I am up uh, for that and I'm not tired or anything... Uh, I might take you up on that offer. Just remember, I'm a scrub. You can technically say I'm new. I mean, I've had it for over a year, but I've only played it a few times and kept getting off because I didn't really find the chance to really hop in. I'm hoping to change that with point 12. Let's see. Time to finish it. End me. Hit! Oh my god, really? <laughs> Two jumps? Yeah, you know, I, I just figured it'd be an instant death. Let me just sprint until I die. Because if I don't make it up there to drop, I'll definitely die by the sprint. I can't believe I've survived two jumps off that. I can't even see. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I just realized, and I know people might point this out, I could have just hit start and exit. <laughs> I could have just done that. But let's not be smart here, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. No, we'll throw out here. Type that out. For everybody who's watching this after. And for the people who are watching it now. It's literally, that's my Discord. Feel free to add and friend it, etc. Or just keep it if you ever want to send a message and I'm ever on it to ask me if we, I am available for Escape from Tarkov or any other PC game. Most of the time I probably won't be, but that isn't to say that I never will be. Killed in action, my butt. Okay, time to go in and finish the reserve map showcasing I think uh, after the reserve map showcasing once I finish that it'll be a good time to end this stream I'll start up a new one after like after I grab a drink go to the bathroom and come back etc I'll start up a new one and that will be for the hideout and then after exploring the hideout I think that the hideout will be smaller than this because it's not upgraded in the first place and it's just a quick look through I'll do the scav war plus the scab bosses and an offline raid on the new map.
And that's where I'll end that one. <laughs> and then I may or may not just continue playing for the heck of it. Almost hit ready, but enable offline. Ready. Oh, there we go. This is a... Uh... They turned out to be longer and a lot more not not tedious, a lot more in depth than I thought I'd be with it. But it's definitely something I'm enjoying. I I, I am having fun going through and showcasing the whole. I mean, I'm probably not the only person who's done this or the first to do it for this map, but you know, here's to all of you who are watching this now and after. Kudos. Hope you guys decided to stick around. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess while we're here, I can look at some more stuff. Oh, yeah, we could also check out the new trader, but he's locked at the start of the game. We have to complete a quest to unlock him. Yeah. I don't know if when I start playing line, I'm going to go immediately to military because I feel like people are going to immediately go there. And I, I'm pretty sure that this kind of covers playing the actual thing. <laughs> I mean, except for, like, I could have one be like, first extraction from reserve base. That could be, like, a video. But other than that, like, this pretty much covers the entire <laughs> reserve base. And though I don't know where the, the, that bunker is, that hidden one. You kill the guy, you get the key, and, like, you open up the underground bunker you know so i don't know if i read that or somebody said that it was something along those lines but there is a bunker that i saw that showcased people like looking in and it looked like there was like a hidden area where like maybe like insane loot was gonna be or something pretty sure that was here but i don't think even if it is here we'll be able to get into it in offline mode at least not without the scavs Oh, you know, the best chance for this would actually be to go to the bathroom while it was loading. That would have been, like, the best chance. So, you know, I think I'm going to take that chance right now <laughs> while it's loading. And I'll return. It'll probably be, like, a minute. I'll grab the water after the stream. I'll just go to the bathroom now. So I'll be right back.
for that. I'm in the game. Whew, okay. Got my headset back on, and I am back. Hopefully, you guys are still here. Sorry about that wait. Hopefully, for those of you who are watching this after, we're able to skip it. Those of you here now, thanks for sticking around. Okay, I didn't want to go into overall. Why did I do that? Why am I in health again? Here we go. Get rid of this. We're burning daylight. We've got to figure out where the hell we are. Looks like we're on the sniper hill. We're on sniper hill... Two. Oh yeah, we're on two. We're next to the train station. We gotta cut directly across the train station. And these two hubs. Let's go. We're gonna run right through here. Parkour! Straight in. Man, I can't wait to get my guy's stamina up again. Jump. Oh, this, this is perfect. We're getting through this easy. We're crossing it so fast. It actually feels familiar. <laughs> hey, we spawned over there last time. Jump. Get over. And there we go. Now we're actually... We're exactly where we need to be. We have to check this building right here. Because... That's the last building we checked, and we jumped off from three times. Three, three times? Was it three times? Yeah, it was three times, I believe. <laughs> now I can't even remember if it was three times or two. I know it was definitely two. Pretty sure it was three, though, and then we just ran until we died. No, no, it was two, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's check. Okay, we got a weapons case. First floor. Yeah, let's turn up our walk a little bit. We don't want it to be too fast. But we don't want it to be too slow either. Ooh. Okay, another case. Rice, place to shoot out of with W Alt. Weapons case. Windows, we could shoot at the other people or. No, I went to say other people in the street or. In the building, but I skipped right straight to the ore part. Place so we can hang out. There might actually be an item spawning here for a quest. We chill down here, hide behind it, ambush people. Place you can hop over the wall. Actually, pretty confident you could do that. I'm not going to do it yet though. Then that means I'll have to walk all the way up here again. Let's see, which seems to not be an issue. We could definitely hop that wall right there if we needed to. Oh man, every time I reset the speed, it goes down there. Okay, yep, see, that was an issue. Walking in, our feet got stuck. It didn't just automatically cr bring us over like normal. That's the issue that I don't really like with the walking, where sometimes walking one way is a lot easier than another. We got sights on the third floor and that door. So how reliable that is, is all up to you. Looks like there's a basement. A room. There's a door there. Can we open it? Yep. Um, pointless unless there's something in here. Like for a quest. Shiny, shiny door. We can see the sniper tower from here. Exit. Areas to shoot from, also exits if you want to jump out. We're going to go downstairs first. You can hide under the stairs if you wanted. I don't really know how good that would do, but you could totally do it. I wonder if this is where the vault or the vault is. Yeah, we'll say vault. I'm just gonna say vault right now. What was that? Oh, is it just fish, tuna, food? Uh, 
Is this the staircase we came down? It is not. That means there's another staircase in this place, I believe. Yeah, it's the one that was right at the entrance that I ended up missing. Guess I just, uh... I mean, maybe I did see it and I just passed it for now. Forgot? I don't know. The entrance here. Brings us to nothing. At least nothing immediately seen. Or that's a huge issue right now. Here, you can hide over if you wanted. Or take cover behind. Cover is not really the best. I mean, other, if you have like fort i guess and a perfect helmet you'll be fine if you crouch because then your legs are protected there's a door here but it doesn't look like this is the one we can actually get into very misleading because i thought i had finally found the vault we found a little med bay where you can find some medicine packs ah damn it's gotta be like a caps where you could like it cycles between like full medium and then low that's what it used to be. Bing bing. Bing bong. Here we go. What do we got in here? Something right there. Uh, that just looks like a crushed can to me though. Nothing really too important that I can see immediately in this area. I think that just brings me to a small little shed bathroom thing. Okay, we're going back up. This place is... Oh, sorry. This place is clear. There we go. That's what it's going for. So, we did check that building. We walked over there. Oh, yeah. We're pretty much done. We're definitely pretty much done. Definitely thinking I can fit the hideout into this one. Although, I didn't find the vault. It's gotta be in here, right? Or I totally missed it somewhere. Which makes me absolutely sad. Um, I saw a vent, but I don't think you're going to be allowed to crawl through the vents. Kitchen. I like how they style it. Quick exit. I don't think there's any stairs here. Okay, so quick exit. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm being fired at. What do I do? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, good. Oh, look, there's another entrance, though. For the other portion. Place you can hide behind to ambush people coming inside. Oh, look at this. You can't go down there. You can't go up. We'll go there in a sec. You jump out the windows or shoot out them. You can actually walk right out this window. Onto, uh... Hey, okay, crouch. There we go. Ooh, that was a, that was a stutter and a half. Broken wall, broken wall. Crawl through this window right here. Yeah, nice little area. Jacket, though. You're actually right here. And you're looking there. You could see somebody's shadows. They were walking down the hall. Again, that's if you have your shadows all the way up. You could obviously have turned them down. When is you could jump out of? There was a case in there. Another entrance. Bathrooms, case, exit. Um, just a regular room. Go to the. Wait, can we actually go down from here? We cannot. Yeah. But we can go up. That's what we need to do. Bathrooms, another room. A place. Oh, actually, we can actually aim through here. That one gave us a little stepping stool to stand on. Same thing here if we wanted to. We don't really want to. Again, these are probably the best vantage points you're going to get or points to attack. 
people outside of the building. I stand corrected. This is a great place too, but it's only if they're on this end. Again, the trees kind of block it and people can lay in grass now. That's probably going to be utilized as it never was before. Unless people are so stuck in their ways. New people who are playing are probably going to utilize it more. I better turn my head. Like whiplash? Come on, really? <laughs> can I open that? No, but I can breach it. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Liking the area. Okay, the other end has got to be that one that was blown open a lot more. Or they just kind of cut in during the. Uh... Oop! Oop! Found another uh, location. Or if that means I could like wreck the guy who's like on the other one. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. You could totally like aim at the other team if they like stole that mounted. You could totally hit them. I don't know if you kill them, but you could totally spray it. And then hope that you wouldn't get sniped as you're doing that. But I think that your armor, if you're wearing the correct helmet and torso, should at least, like, if you get hit, should protect you from a few hits and enough for you to get off the weapon and take some cover. Whether you should actually get off the weapon and take cover or just endure it and hopefully take the team out, that's for you to decide. But I think with the white, the right armor, you could have some decent protection enough to actually escape being attacked, being up there. That's the third mounted one I've found of that caliber. And I found one grenade launcher. I don't think I found two. I might have like, I, I, like a part of me wants to say two, but I don't want to say I found two if I only found one. There's the hole that I was talking about. You can escape down there if you wanted to or needed to. You're going to take some damage. And here is the big one. Same thing here. Um, not really the best place to take cover there. You can hide behind this desk, like right here. And then shoot, like, an enemy. I guess that eh, that's probably not the best there. Just one. Two MGS, though. No, no, no. We actually found the third one now. Because remember on the... Uh, train station over there there's one on each end remember there's one on this end and then there's one on the other end facing the train station so we found three mgs's right now yeah <laughs> it's just I, I don't remember if i found the second grenade launcher though that's why i was like did i find two like i knew i found three mgs oh oh four Uh, okay, it doesn't turn that far. It's more specifically angled just for like what I'm looking at right now. That way. That's it. That it might not even stretch as far left as the site that you have. But now we found four MGSs. Well, oh, that's what we're calling them. I know there's an actual technical term for them, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go look that up. We're just gonna call them MGSs. Okay, we're good, yeah? Okay, so this is fully explored now. We're gonna go back down to the first floor. We're gonna head to the next build. Actually, we'll go to the helicopter first. Helicopter's right in the middle, you know? And I think it's just this building and that building, and then there might be something over there that we need. And then we'll have to do a little sprint around, see if we missed anything. This might be like the second hot point. Taguskas, I think is the term for them. May not be spelled right. Uh, maybe I I have no idea Okay Aha see look at weapons crate right here Let's get a hint of what might like actually pop up here. Well, it didn't actually give me a weapon. So that's fine But there's another one right here. There's one on the ground. So there's two weapon cases one's a crate We'll say one weapon case one weapon crate two cases and a crate and then a coat you don't want to be caught out here, though. Okay, so... Jesus, these apartments. <laughs> here we go. Ba 
Elias, the barracks. Kidding, barracks. Open, open, open. Oh god, I closed myself in. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> because, like I said, there is a vault on this. At least I'm pretty sure there's a vault from what I've seen of the trailer. Wait. Sit down that way. We'll, we'll figure it out. Because I really would like to get the vault in here if there really is one. I like how it's like constantly messaging me on like YouTube saying like right now you're at 0.5 messages a minute. Look at that. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. Ooh, this turned out to be a little bit more than I was going to expect here. A nice candlelit dinner. An exit. Hey. Stop pushing me. Bathroom. That's such an awkward place to shit. There's nothing covering you. I mean, no big deal because at least the sides are covered, right? If somebody walks in to take a shit too. They're just going to see you immediately. Oh, look at Vault door open. Is this where... It, is this what I think it is? I can't really see that well down here, but I found a toolbox. Uh, there's something over there. I just I, can't, I really can't see. I think it's just a wall. It looks like there's a vault door, but it doesn't actually open. It's just for looks. Ooh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, see, this is what was over there. Doesn't look like you could turn them though. I think this is the vault though. I'm really hoping so because uh, I've seen a lot of uh, places on this map. I mean, I'd have to. I've spent three hours here. Okay, here we go. Is this just an exit? I think this is just an exit, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Oh! Because of the darkness, I almost missed this. Hello. Um. Am I just going further down? Oh, there's a door right here. Didn't see it. Oh, yeah. It's the vault. A2. Here we go, boys. And girls. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely definitely the vault. Definitely what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. No, not sure if I just, like, clip this part out as well. Like, clips, like, certain parts out and be like, this is it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Like, I'll clip out just this part that showed it so I can have, like, a separate video to where, like, people, if they just want to see entrance i'm hoping this is like the entrance not just another random exit i mean this definitely doesn't look like an elaborate way to leave the game <laughs> but i mean jokes on me it very well could be okay um okay and did i how did i miss the stairs Oh, because they're over here and the lights turn on as you progress. Oh, look it! As I came through there, there's another pathway this way. I like how the lights actually turn on as you explore. Like, they're not on all the time. Like, so that means if you're in here and you're coming in and you see the lights on, that means somebody's been in here. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. Future reference for everybody who's watching this, including myself. Lights are on. Danger. Ooh. Really got bright here. But at least now I know where the vault is. Bathroom. Take me to where I really want to go. <laughs> I want to see the treasure. Yes. Take me to the treasure. This is just a broken room. <laughs> you could definitely hide like right here and then pop out and surprise somebody. Ah! I think this is just another entrance though. I mean, we'll run up this just to tell, but I mean, we could quickly just run right down. 
This is definitely a map that you could easily get lost in. Like you aren't gonna be exploring this entire map, no way in hell, in one playthrough. Like one, like I've already, it's taken me three so far just to see everything. Granted, one of them I did die early, but still. Ladder we can't actually go through. Another pathway. This is, I think, taking us into the other. Yep, this is taking us into another apartment. Yeah, the damn the broken legs, right? <laughs> okay, so that's probably the other apartment complex that this takes us to. So there is multiple ways to get in. It's not just one path. That scared me. I thought there was a hole in the floor. I thought I was going to fall. <laughs> so you don't always have to just look out for one direction. Even though if you were in here and fully exploring, it'd be hard to keep track of, like, where people were coming from. I'm lucky. I'm happy I can sprint without like go flinging off. You know, like in some games, if you sprint, it like launches you off the stairs because it doesn't register you going down the stairs. Oh yeah, this we actually already went here. So came from that direction. We got to turn this way now because we want to go deeper in, deeper into the treasure. I'm expecting at some point uh, to find a door that requires a key. Or this is actually it. Never mind. No, this is actually it. There's two cabinets here. I actually can't really make out the details for the rest here. Is that what I think it is now? Yeah, okay, so there is definitely a, two cabinets in there and maybe some other things you can look at. I picture there being a quest there like having to pick up a key or something some files i don't know i see a little toolbox here huh you know when i saw the vault i expected there to be like i don't know like an armory like a shit ton of weapon crates you know that were like it, people would be like fighting to constantly come here not as much as i thought would be in here be honest of course uh it's very possible i am missing uh, a few areas because of how dark it is i might have missed a door or two very possible so as i say it's like i'm, I'm literally think i'm just gonna rename it like escape from tarkov point 12 new in-depth reserve map exploration i don't know i need a title that like fits this well, that fits it perfectly that's what i need and then like i'll add like ultra graphics after that i know like by the end of it i need to come up with like a catchy title that goes with it that like perfectly sums it up like i know it's, i want it to be like in-depth something gotta start with, obviously gotta start with like escape from tarkov Now, there's probably like a pathway I might have missed too. But I'm trying. I'm trying. I've gone through a lot of doors. Full we'll run through new military map? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Full. Full. Escape from Tarkov. Point 12. Full in depth showcasing of reserve map that's not catchy here we'll, we'll like do we'll like do it here like right now while we're actually here escape from tarkov point 12 full in depth New reserve map walkthrough? Do you think walkthrough is good? We're literally, you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a walkthrough. And then do 
Ultra Graphics. <laughs> Pun intended. Hope nobody hates me for doing that. <laughs> Run through or walk through. Yeah, I just called it walk through. <laughs> but like, uh, there we go. Uh, that's looking pretty nice. Okay, so this is the only building we're actually missing now. Aside from maybe like whatever is out this fucking wall. Nothing. Okay. Let's do our thing and then we'll do our little sprint like a madman out of it. Like around the damn map. Never thought just exploring like every room in the map would actually exhaust you this much. It's mentally draining. Ooh, there was a crate in there. Okay, but that was literally the first floor. <laughs> Simple, I like it. Just what I need right now. Ooh. Okay, that's definitely gonna be locked. We'll need a key for that. Now, if you don't have a key for a door, like it doesn't show a grayed out option saying like, need key, right? It, it, it just says break down. Like, if you have the key for the door, it'll, get, it'll then have that option there. It doesn't just say, need key. <laughs> key missing. Ugh. <laughs> At least not that I know of. I'm saying that more in like a questioning way, like, do you know? Yeah, I'll say breach, yeah. But like, if you like, say you, like, a, what, like, let's say door A. You don't have a key for door A. It just says breach and then it has all the other grayed out options. But say you then pick up the door, or the, the door, the key for door A, it would then, if you came back to it, show the open. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh, can't open that one. Ooh, that's a pretty big case. Hey, let's go up to the last floor, question mark? No, no, not the last floor. That's asking too much. Bathroom. Another bathroom. I'm sure I'll like, spend plenty of time going through this area again whenever I come back to it. Oh, you know, I never actually looked at my water. Drink all. I mean, a good place might be like... No? Or like right here? And then like you could aim at the guy. Because like you're kind of hidden. If you like, if you turn here and you're like... I mean, you could see, you could see the guy, but like if you're just glancing and you're not really like looking in the corner, you, I could see me passing it and like looking somewhere else god damn it there's another floor <laughs> Ooh, this one actually lets you open though always unlocked my friend two more cases lets you shoot out man my wrist hurts no wonder why they give you an hour it lets you have a break in between raids Ooh, this is a good place to rain down on people going there. Okay, I wonder if there's ever gonna be weapons on those racks. Again, if you had like a full squad and like another squad came down, that'd be great right there. Although again, I don't really know the spe the English. I don't really know those uh, scab spawns. There we go. That's what I was going for. Bathroom. So, you know, scabs could spawn in any of these buildings down by the helicopter. You never really know. That's what makes things interesting. Even if I slightly remember the map, doesn't mean I know where people are going to spawn. <laughs> it's all about learning. 
It's all about the chase. It's always about the climb. They're breaking out into song soon. So I'm gonna assume these are... Nope, not what I thought it was. Oh wait, I think the game just... Wait, the game didn't freeze. Oh, my keyboard. Unplug this. Plug the keyboard in here. There we go. Move, move, maybe? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the lap, my laptop freezes with the keyboard. It's a pain in the ass. I don't know why, but why wouldn't it let me up? There we go. So I have to like plug in my desktop keyboard to this one and, and that's like the quickest way to fix it. The other way is just wait <laughs> until the keyboard's like, yeah, I'll start working. I have no idea why it does that or what it even means. I just found ways to beat it. Luckily, it doesn't happen like all that much. Super Jackie Jojo, where the hell is your knife? Oh, I'm not actually in the online raid. This is offline for the purpose of just exploring the map and, you know, showcasing the new one. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> I threw it on the ground, though, if, if you're curious. It was a hatchet, though. Okay, so we've explored literally everything almost. Unless that vault we found wasn't the vault that was supposed to be there, which I'm pretty damn sure that was the vault they were showcasing. I'm pretty sure we have like nothing left to explore, but we are gonna go for a quick jog around and make sure that we did not miss anything before we go over to the hideout. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Taylor. I appreciate it. So much love. We already went down there. Already checked all that out. God, we've had, we have gone through so much in this stream. I, I mean, we pretty much covered everything. I, this is literally just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Where's the main? Kind of extract like smuggler's boat on customs. Okay, so are you saying where is the main extract in general? Because so, he said main kind of extract. Uh, the main extract, I would say, is probably the train. Like, that's probably the one everybody's going to go to. It's the easiest to go to. Probably not the best to defend. Or to... I mean, I don't know. It's the easiest to remember. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty confident that that right there is an, an extract right here that I'm looking at now. Or that. But I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick run by. I'll show you where the train is as like an ending thing because we'll have to take the train. The train's going to come up actually in like a minute. It always shows up around 25. Somewhere around there. You know, I'm pretty confident Taylor, that we've gotten everything. Yeah. Gen I mean, if you were going to say, like, what's the main extract on any map, you just say, oh, the other side of the map. So this was probably, like, what, four corners of the map, maybe? It did look like there was one place under a building that had a white light near the vault that looks like maybe that could have been a scab exit. Maybe. Okay, I actually think we've actually gotten everything. I don't think we missed anything. I think this is literally fully complete. I mean, I don't know about you, Taylor, but from what I see, I recognize everything I'm looking at. You could say there are main extracts. I would definitely say train. Yeah. If we were going to specifically like target one and say, where do you think most people would go? It would definitely be train. We didn't really run through like all these trees and crap. Oh, oh, look at that. We did actually miss something. It was here, this corner of the bunkers. So it was like 90% done. So we still need to go into these bunkers because we haven't. There's two of them we missed. I mean, they're essentially going to be probably the same uh, layout, dungeon space, etc., as the other one. However, I want this to be a full in-depth 
like I said, and that's exactly what everybody is getting. Granted, the doors that were shrouded in darkness and I didn't have a flashlight to see that I may or may not have missed, on the off chance that I did maybe miss one or two doors. Other than the one or two, I'm pretty confident I've hit the entire map. Oh yeah, you just tab over and then right click it like you did any other item and hit discard. I mean, you can't punch though, so really no benefit to dropping your knife if you're going to use it. Like if you had no weapon but your knife and you're like, oh, you know, I'm just going to drop it and see all I can do. Like other than for shits and giggles, there's really no benefit. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So I definitely don't think there, I mean, there may well be two more bunkers on the very edge over here. Because so far, that would mean there's two bunkers on three corners of this map. So it's very possible there might be two more on the other end. Which is where we're going because the train's going to arrive there. I guess it doesn't show up at 25. I thought it came at 25 that time. Maybe it comes at different times? I thought last time I was on it, it was like 25. Maybe it's 15. I oh, know. I said it so confidently. Ouch. A little toolbox by that. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm... Okay, so I'll show you where the train is. So this is where the train stops by, by the way, Super. It comes in through here. Right here. Rides in. Lands in there. That can't be the train, can it? I didn't hear this thing. I didn't hear the thing go off. No, this is definitely the train. But the train's here. I think. <laughs> it's gotta be the train. <laughs> Did it just go off and I didn't hear the sound? It's not saying wait for train or like leave train or anything. But it, that's definitely the train. Oh yeah, see, it's definitely a train. So basically, all you do is you wait on this train and you defend yourself from either scabs, the scav boss, or other players. And then when it starts to move, it counts down its normal second timer and then you just extract. You don't have to wait for it to like leave the map or anything. But this is where it is. This is what it looks like. Oh, there was a little stutter there. So now, instead of taking the train like I did last time, I think the perfect thing to do is to run through the minefield. I'm gonna rush through it and see if you can actually extract by running through it like people have been, you know, writing and saying. And this is a minefield over here. This is the one I'm gonna run through. I'm gonna get some, you know, pep in my step before I sprint. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully... Oh, that's the symbol that the train's leaving. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. I think if I get to the other side, I can extract. I mean, if what everybody's saying or wrote is true. Here we go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know where they are. I don't know if they actually are here. Oh, oh, nope, run that way. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay, look at they are here. Ah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh about what I expected. I you know, as I got like to where that second one was, I actually thought maybe just maybe I was missing them all and I was gonna make it. I really thought I was going to make it there. Um, I'm kind of debating. I'm like, do I want to start a new stream for the hideout or do I just want to go now? I think I'd rather just do a hideout now. But I mean, the thing is, is like, then I'd have to add a hideout. You know, I think I, I think I will end that just so I can start a new stream for the hideout. So I'll be like, maybe call that one like, Full in-depth hideout walkthrough plus 
new uh new map etc yeah that's what i'm thinking of doing because i pretty much covered that i don't think i don't got nothing to do uh, that means like i'll end it grab some water you know grab something to snack on come back up and by then it should be ready for me to refresh and then i'll do the hideout and then after the hideout i will do an on uh an offline scav match with scav war on and scav bosses on the reserve map i'll try to go for the train yeah Okay, well, for everybody who's watching this after the fact, thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And for those of you guys who are going to watch the next stream right after this, I will be back in a few minutes. Like I said, just grabbing some water, something to snack on. Uh, what's the name of the new scav boss? New scav boss is called... Where are you? Gluckar. Or Gluckar. I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right. G L U K H A R. So, for everybody else, and for all of you who are here, I will be right back. I'm going to end this stream, start a new one for the hideout, and the one match on the new map reserve offline. And probably tomorrow I will start playing it online. Not the map, I might just, I'm just going to start playing Escape from Tarkov, and you know, maybe I'll come here. We will see. Catch you guys later. Remember, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share below if you thought that this is something you'd want to see in the future of any other map that's already here or newer maps that are coming out. And just all around, if you enjoyed this, like I said, this was the first time I did something like this. I don't know if it's going to be the last time. It really just depends on feedback and how I'm feeling if a new map comes out. You know, hopefully I was communicative, 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 communicative enough. There we go. English <laughs> seven out of 10. <laughs> and that hopefully I showed you enough of the map and didn't miss anything. Other than that, catch you guys later. I will be back, though, like I said, for those of you guys here live. <laughs> Two minutes, three.